Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street with me, Vicky, with you live till 12 o'clock with gorgeous Delphine. Oh, we've got such a great show today. Um, we thought we'd keep the balloons. Now, I know we were celebrating Jim Poirier's 16th birthday yesterday, so we had balloons. Today, we are celebrating again because uh, when we first launched the channel back in February, 14th of February was our first day. We were so, so excited that this was um, a concept that we knew that was coming soon. Obviously, craziness in the world happened. We predicted that we'd have our website a lot sooner. Uh, the team would have grown a lot quicker. But actually, obviously, with the way things have been in the world, it's taken a little bit, um, it's taken a little bit longer. But I tell you what, Jewelry Maker have been part of Gemporia as well for... Probably the same, longer even. I think they became part of Gemporia back in um, January. And yet we have beat them to it with split pay, which I know that a lot of the people over at Drew Maker are like, right, we need to get split pay sorted. We've got split pay from today. Lots of people have already taken advantage of it this morning because um, it was live from midnight last night, which is very, very exciting because I know that it's uh, an expensive time of year, a bit of an uncertain time, so it's good to be able to split those payments without actually having to pay any more on top of it for that privilege. So it's very, very exciting. We're going to be talking more about the split pay option at 10 o'clock, but if you are eager to get involved or if you've got any questions, get them in for me. I'm on Facebook Live today, so I've got the, uh, the tablet to the side of me here. Morning, Margaret. Morning, Pauline. Uh, come say hello to me. Drop in any questions on uh, Facebook Live and I've got them here to the side of me so I can come and answer any, any questions regarding split pay. It's really, really easy to do. We've had a go this morning on the website. We did it with card, the cat's card details. So, yep, 680 in the basket if you do want. Oh, have you noticed? Can we do the 550 today? We've asked just to see if we can do it because we've noticed it's back in stock. So, um, have a look at this anyway. If you're purchasing any items over £150, you can split it over three months interest-free. You're not going to pay any more for the privilege of splitting it over three months. Uh, items over £799, so majority of our sewing machines, it can be actually split over five months. So, five easy payments, five easy payments over five months, uh, interest-free. You're not going to pay any more for the privilege of you know having to split that payment but it just means that you can get it home easily and, uh, and start sewing without worrying about that extra payment. So we're really, really excited about it. Now, I know that it starts at £150 at the moment. We're looking at expanding it, obviously. This is a little bit of a trial to see how it goes. So we're wanting to start with the items, obviously, that people are going to want split payments on. It's, um, you know, when it's under £100 or under £50, then it is something that we're going to be looking towards doing in the future. But we thought we'd start with, obviously, where the, the more costly items are, which is over £150. So... I'll tell you more about it later. It's a very, very exciting day today, and it's really lovely to have you come be nice and bright and early on this Friday morning. So let me know what you're up to. Should we start the day, as we always do, with an early bird special? Yesterday, we love having savings. We had 16% off everything on our show yesterday. So, of course, again, should we offer you a saving to start the show? We've got four beautiful fat quarters going to a discounted price these are just a classic on the show they're always a brilliant price point anyway so to discount them is very 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 exciting right let me just i'm going to click onto my um live feed as well so that then yeah i might need might need cat um oh are you loving the set it's jam-packed with all of Delphine makes. Have a look at um, over on set one as well. We've got so many. It's jam-packed. If you love the set, uh, you're going to love our show later on at 11 o'clock because we are, have Delphine-fied the set. We've got all things Delphine, lots of her kits and her instructions, some of which for the first time on their own we're going to do back again. So today's early bird, just £8.99, saving of £4. You've got the, the lovely neutral with the hearts. You've got the neutral with the snowflakes you've also got the actual gingham check and you've got hessian which is really really beautiful for this time of year i'm thinking of lots of different bunting ideas quite festive actually quite christmasy so it was my elbow um <laughs> eight pound 99 saving of four pounds i'm going to open these out so you can see the size all wrapped in nice little bit of twine as well <laughs> you should keep hold of that 
great for autumn, but lovely for Christmas. What about little gift tags or um, you could do almost like little drawstring bags. These would be lovely bunting things, baubles, eight pounds ninety nine. Uh, I know that um, Debbie Shaw has done sort of mug holders, ones to put on your, your Starbucks or your Costa or your Cafe Nero or your McDonald's uh, coffee cup holders. Eight ninety nine. So that's the size of a fat quarter. That's the one, the natural with the hearts. We've also got the one with the snowflakes. They're all different. They're nice weighty fabrics as well. They really are. Um, just eight ninety nine. Perfect for this time of year. These are gorgeous, aren't they? I've got you on. Hello, Alison Marion. Oh, is it your last day in the Silly Islands? Oh. I hope that you're, you've got better weather today because I know you said it was a bit miserable yesterday outside. The sun is just about rising here um, here in, in Warwickshire and it's also just just rising in Leicestershire apparently as well. It's ever so dark, isn't it? It was still pitch black at seven o'clock this morning. Um, this one is your gingham, which is a true gingham woven fabric. It's gorgeous again. Are you doing the gingham style dance in there, Paul? Eight ninety nine. <laughs> He's singing it too. Good morning. Oh, can I just say, we have people using the split payment option from four minutes past midnight. Uh, those of you that have known me for the last few years, you might have known me from uh, Sewing Quarter, which was uh, a different channel where, of course, John Scott was as well. And we desperately wanted to do split pay there and we couldn't. We weren't ever able to do it. So when Gemporia took us under their wing and, uh, and started Sewing Street, it was one of the things I was so excited about because working at Gemporia previously, I know that they did flexi pay, I know they did the split pay option, so I did say to Neil and Haley, does that mean if we're part of Gempura that we can do split pay? And they've said, yeah, in the future, in the future. Didn't realise that it'd be today. It will be today. So I'm not. I'm really, really thrilled that everybody's taken advantage of it already. We'll go through all of the the, the questions that you might have at ten o'clock in the show. And you're Hessian. I love Hessian. I absolutely love that. Eight pounds ninety nine, which makes it what price per fat quarter, Cat? We've got four in here. <laughs> it's going to be some tricky maths. 230? 224? 224 of that quarter, how good's that? Um, especially if you're putting them with different textures of fabric. I know Kay Facet, Anna Maria Horner, designers, they all, you know, like to mix different fabrics. This is normally 12 99 This is normally £12.99. You're saving your P&P there today. Saving your P&P. Uh, do you know, a lot of people who are talking about split, split, pay, split, pay, <laughs> split pay are thinking about um, overlockers, sewing machines. What about mannequins, your uh, dress forms, electric scissors? There's lots on the website that you can use that split pay option for. So have a good, have a good scour through. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got this hour. In fact, let's have a look at what we've got for the day. We've got a lovely day lined up for you. As I say, Delphine is in the house. Sun is always shining when Delphine's here. We absolutely adore her and she fills our day with absolute amazing makes. So this hour, um, we've got autumn fabrics coming up in this first hour whether it be autumn dressmaking fabrics we've got autumn colorway bundles back we've got some great inspiration with some lovely books we've got some dressmaking patterns in this first hour nine o'clock it's block of the week we are at the penultimate uh, part of our block of the week section i think we've only got two more blocks after this we're almost there if you're building your quilt up as well if you do want to to take part or if you Want to watch Delphine's demo? Block 13 and 14 is coming up. We've got foundation paper piecing in the show. At 10 o'clock, woo woo, all aboard. It's sewing machines. I don't know why I said all aboard. That's really weird, isn't it? But woo woo, all aboard the split pay boat. <laughs> That's what Paul's saying. At 11 o'clock, we've got Delphine's design revisited. So we've got lots of really, really lovely projects that have come back into stock. Uh, you notice the stag, 
quilt and cushion, the camper van and the birds, the pin cushion, the cathedral window, the eat your yard, the bag, the, uh, the apron and the cushion. We've also got the stag, the Highland cow, the unicorn. We've got loads coming up in that hour. So, oh, the Christmas quilt as well, the stag quilt. Uh, sorry, not the stag quilt, the Highland cow quilt back in stock as well. So that is going to be a real pit stop. So if you've got any particular parts of the demos that you would like a little bit of help with or Delphine to demonstrate, let me know as early as possible and I'll ask Delphine if she can, um, if she can show it for you. We're going to try and talk through all of the uh, all of the makes anyway. So if you want to get in touch with me, as I say, I've got the tablet here today. So come and say hello on Facebook. We are streaming live. I must say, if you are on Facebook, we've got our very own... Facebook um, page which is Sewing Street TV and we also have a, a dedicated fan page which is Sewing Street Fans which it looks like this it's Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and it's brilliant oh look at that magic trick in fact that's an amazing offer if you spend £40 you get £10 off I need to get working on my magic tricks because Neil Amazing, isn't it? Okay, you can see all of everyone's makes, you see lovely comments, you see us commenting on it. I'm often um, looking through all of the uh, the fan page, so it's really exciting. Have a good look through. So that's the fan page. If you want to join, anyone can join. And if also, I just want to say, our official page is where we're live on Facebook. So if you go on to here, uh, oh yeah, the winner, I did see this earlier. Um, it was about uh, doing um, a candelabra fancy dress. It was funny. So then this is the, uh, the the blocks that we're doing today, the Dresden and the Foundation Pepper Piece, split pair. You'll see what's coming up. So we try and keep you in the loop of everything that's going on on our Sewing Street TV page. That There are two and only pages. So they're the ones that our team are managing as well. So they will be answering any of your questions. We're all part of it. So we all look on the, the fan page and the main page as well. Um, yeah, so ha have a look and make sure that you're on the right one because I believe there are a couple of other pages out there that we're not affiliated with. So please do make sure if you do want questions answered in particular that you're involved in our Sewing Street fans or our Sewing Street TV one. If you've got any messages uh, to ask us on Facebook, maybe concerning split pay, then here is how you do it. Stud uh, that's the Sewing Street TV on Facebook or if you want to email, it's studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Amazing. Where should we start, Kat? We've got loads of lovely bundles. Can we do your ones? Oh no, yeah, let's do dressmaking because I think we've really seen a turn in the weather, haven't we, over the last um, week or so. And it's it's nice to be able to get those slightly heavier fabrics, the thicker fabrics, out with the chiffons and in with the cord. So we've got, let's start with our two cords. This is one that, now over the next few weeks, I've said to Kat, who's my producer, I said, can we start like a dressmaking craft club after the show? Because we really, really want to start make, using these beautiful cords. This is quite a light uh, needle cord, which is beautiful. So I think this would be perfect for pinafore. This would be really, really lovely. Um, I know that Kat wants to make Alison Marion's apron design with this. Alison, are you watching? If you're watching, we're going to make the uh, the apron with this because that would look really nice. It's one that you can wear, not you know, even if it's not necessarily one to do the cooking in and stuff. It's one that you can go out in. It would look beautiful. With your t-shirt, pair of leggings or a pair of jeans underneath, it would look lovely. And it's obviously got, be aware when you're dressmaking with it, it has got a direction. It has got a, a nap or a pile. So you can feel that really, really lovely needle cord. And it's got a real ditzy floral print, that pretty pink and green print. Oh no, um, it's two blocks today. Two blocks today, um, Elaine. We've got the foundation paper piece one and we've also got the Dresden plate one. Oh, is it not on the website? We'll have a look. We'll see if they're on the website. Hi, Joan. She's looking forward to the show. We've got Alan watching morning. Um, so, there's lots of people who are on Facebook. Sorry, I get distracted by it. I just keep like, I just want to come and say hello to you all. £4.99, uh, and that is your needle, cord, your needle cord, small flowers, printed needle cord fabric. It's your chance to buy by the half metre. This would be nice for a jacket as well, because it's quite a light needle cord. If you are making the difference, if you are making that sort of transition between 
maybe only working with cottons on summer dresses, I think this is a nice one to go to because it's still going to behave itself under your machine. It's not going to be slipping and sliding. It's not too heavy, um, but it is going to be a lovely, lovely fabric to transition into the autumn and winter. We're going to have a look at a couple of patterns, in fact, actually, that I think would be really nice for this. So that's your first cord. I've also got slightly heavier one, which we've done some beautiful dresses with in the past, haven't we? I love the dress in this. In fact, I think we've done... Oh, this is so nice. This is really, really nice. We did one with Adele, and it's so striking. I think this would be really nice for a bag as well. It isn't just dressmakers. This is your Rose Pavilion. Eight pounds, 49 a half metre. Uh, we sell by the half metre, so if you are wanting two metres, for example, if you're wanting more, it will be cut off the bolt and it will come in one continuous row. What are you thinking of making? This would be nice to, I think, in covering like footstools and things like that as well. You could use this for home furnishing because it's got that, I'm thinking like a small footstool you could cover if you if you like upholstery and things like that. It's got the weight to it, it'd be really, really beautiful. Nice for like a carpet style bag as well, like an overnight or weekend bag. So they're all autumnal colours, perfect autumnal colours. Oh, Sharon loved the ditzy floral cord. Would make a lovely pinafore for little girls and big girls and teens and adults, absolutely. Um, yeah, Alison said it would look fab. It would look fab. Don't forget, this is your chance by, to get it by the half metre. Uh, yesterday, lots of our tail decided out. What about dungarees? Eight pounds, 49 a half metre. Hello, Rita. Rita, what's the weather like in Malta? Oh, just dreaming of being on the beach around the pool. Malta. I've never been to Malta, and it's somewhere I've always fancied because I always see people who go on holiday in Malta, and it looks beautiful. Do you live there, or are you on your holidays, Rita? Let me know. I'm, I'm watching. I'm watching your Facebook live. Oh yeah, it would look great as a tunic. I'm not watching you. Don't worry. I'm not watching you on Facebook live. <laughs> we can see you. <laughs> uh, that's just eight pounds forty nine. I've got one other cord to show you. Is it the green one? This was uh, Adele's favourite. Adele's back with you tomorrow with John Scott. She's great. If you love dressmaking, um, absolutely watch tomorrow's show because she's fabulous. She's so, so good. We did a birthday show and I must say her family as well are just so lovely. They sent in the most adorable message for her with her children. And it's so nice. So yeah, if you do want some um, dressmaking tips, watch tomorrow. Hello, is that Anila? Morning, Anila. How are you? Hope you're uh, not feeling too cold this morning. I'm glad you're enjoying the show. How do you feel about split pay? Oh, honestly, we've waited since... Well, I feel like I've been waiting for years to be able to talk about split pay. So it's really exciting because I know that we've had so many messages coming in asking if it would be an option. And obviously when Steve Bennett and Jen Poria took us under their wing, um, we knew that it was going to be an option, but we didn't know how far into the future it would be. We thought it would be when we get our new website up and running on our new systems, which is on the 15th of this month. So when Neil came in on Tuesday and he gave us the amazing surprise, one that John Scott was joining, Joining the team, but also that we had split pay launching on Friday. It's just been the most amazing week, hasn't it? What a week to be watching. Um, just £8.49, and this is like a tealy blue. It's really gorgeous. It's got a tiny, like, tulip detail. And once again, it's quite a light needle cord. So this would be ideal for things like, what about a nice pair of trousers, a pinafore, a little autumnal skirt that you wear with tights. It would look lovely. You could do, um, you could do like a, a, do you know these, what did you call it the other day? I don't want to say it because I feel like I'm going to say something that sounds rude. Cat, it's a shirt slash, does, I can't say that on telly, can I? S a shirt slash jacket. A shacket. <laughs> okay, it's a thing, it's a shacket. Um, it's like an oversized shirt. It's very in at the moment. I was in Zara yesterday and they were everywhere, these jackets. And they're about 40, 50 pounds. If you buy yourself some beautiful fabric like this, this would be really, really nice. Eight pounds, 49 pence. Good morning, everybody. Joe says, morning, Vicky. Love the new payment plan. 
it is good for bigger pay purchases, isn't it? We're going to try and do it also in the future for smaller purchases as well. But we just thought, right, whilst we're trialling it and launching it, it's a really, really good idea to, to start with those bigger purchases where, let's face it, we all, we all need that bit of extra help with split payments. And it's it's not like, oh, it's going to cost you. You know, sometimes when you buy a sofa over so many years and it, it ends up costing you quite a lot of money or if you buy a car on finance and you end up paying a lot on interest, it's not like that. It's not going to cost you any more money no, it's completely interest free which is fantastic isn't it really so if you're purchasing anything over 150 pounds it's three split payments uh, over three months the first uh, direct debit will come out one day you don't need to ring the next week to, or the next month to pay it and um, it will just come out the same card the same day three easy payments over three months any items over 799 you have got the uh, uh, option of paying it all in full if you'd prefer but it's interest free to do it over five months so why wouldn't you? Such a good idea. Uh, so yes, thank you for all your lovely messages. Pauline says that she got this. She says, I got this one. It's beautiful. She says, making the uh, the, the dress that Adele demoed. This was the, the fabric that was her choice as well. She says that this was her favourite. So now what we started to do is we've started to send Adele um, you know, fabrics and say, which one do you like? Which one do you think is going to work with this dress? So, you know, when she comes in, she's in tomorrow, she's picked the ones that she loves and the ones that are suitable for the pattern. Because I think that's quite a difficult thing to learn, I've certainly found. And when you're watching the Great British Sewing Bee, you realise that if they pick a pattern and the wrong fabric for it, they get really criticised, don't they? Or it just say, they don't say it doesn't work for the pattern, it doesn't work for the pattern. So it's always worth having a read on the pattern and they give you lots of suggested fabrics. But for the pinafore, I'm thinking for the, uh, the pattern preacher pinafore, this would be lovely for that. I can imagine this with like a polar neck top underneath, a nice thick pair of tights. That would look really nice in the autumn. Because it is still the weather that I have to layer up because you can go into anywhere and you need to take, you need to strip layers off, don't you? I, I've been wearing lots of big chunky knits over the last few, uh, the, the last week or so. And now I'm thinking, oh, get in the car and I'm boiling. I'm wearing a big jacket. It's still a bit funny weather, isn't it? It's not cold, cold. You need a jacket. You need a shirt slash jacket with this. Um, right, so. It really, it was lovely actually. There was a, if, if you watched yesterday's show with Sarah, she had the most gorgeous autumnal jacket that was like a, a jacquard. Um, Adele's got a nice, uh, sorry, Delphine's got a really nice one on today, which is lighter weight. And I know that Sarah said, oh, it looked like a real summery style outfit. It was one of the so different patterns and she was going to do it for summer. And then instead she did it with a thicker jacquard fabric. It looked amazing. This would be perfect for something like that. This is what I really want, like a cape style, nice big kimono sleeves, something that you can just throw on over a jumper um, and, and, and easily take it off. And it can look really, really smart, but equally it can look really, uh, you know, quite casual as well. So this is your brown, which is beautiful. Is it a wool? It feels like a really high quality wool. This is a um, CQR528, please, Cap which is, uh, yeah, I think this is your Asheville tweed. So this is almost like, I'm gonna compare this as, you know, if you've ever been to Savile Row and you see those really fancy tailors and that beautiful quality wool. Even though this, I'm thinking like for a, a cape or what about waistcoats for gents makes? Or it would be really, really lovely for things like, uh, this would be really lovely for laptop bags and tablet cases. Even if you just buy half a meter of this, you could do sort of laptop bags or weekend bags, little wallets would look beautiful with tweed. I even like patchwork with tweed. I think if you were to, you know, patch this different colors, it look really, really cool. Just adding this in with your patchwork. Tweed's really nice. In fact, I know that you like a, a tweed jacket. You're a bit partial to a tweed jacket, aren't you, Paul? Morning Dawn, morning Tina, how are you? Malta's very sunny. Um, I'm from Malta, I live here. Do you know, that's the next thing we need to do, um, isn't it, Risa? We need to be able to ship to you then. That's my next thing on the list. <laughs> what is the... Um... <laughs> This is why I didn't want to say it on air. So, Dawn, Julie's asked what that the, the shirt jacket is. <laughs> um, 
It's, it's not a pattern. Oh, sorry, is it this one that you're talking about, maybe? We haven't got a pattern for a shirt jacket, but I just keep seeing them in the shops everywhere. It's just an oversized shirt, basically. You know, like a denim -y jacket style. It's, it's like a, a thicker shirt, basically, and it, it's really nice to wear over jumpers and things. Um, we've got a couple of dressmaking pans there to show you. Is that what you mean? Is that what you're asking? <laughs> Morning, Angela. Oh, it's a lovely sunny day in West Dorset. Oh, I hope so. It's, it was really nice, actually, yesterday, wasn't it? Towards the end of the day, it did ha it, the sun did shine. It looked really nice outside. Nice autumnal walk day. Okay, so that's Rashford Tweed. We've also got the herringbone one. This is really lovely because it's got a very, very delicate pink pinstripe through it. I think we've seen Faye doing um, like a Peaky Blinder style cap with it. I still haven't watched Peaky Blinders and being a girl from the Midlands, I should have watched it really. But um, apparently Cillian, is his name Cillian Murphy? Killian, he's gorgeous, isn't he? Apparently. That's what the girls say. That's what my mum says. Hey, <laughs> 99 and a half metre. I love this herringbone design. This is really classic. I just would love a little skirt. Uh, what about like, um, yeah, if anybody knows somebody that dresses up for work, not like us. <laughs> oh, one day, Kat, I would love you to walk in in a pinstripe soup, please. This would look lovely, you know, like with um, like a pussy blow blouse. And uh, yeah, you'd look really smart. Yeah, boss lady, absolutely. But I mean, you don't necessarily, I love the salvage on this as well, by the way. Look, oh, sorry, let me move it across. Yeah, if you go into Vivian Westwood and you see suits for women um, and men, if you have a look at how much they cost, they're a fortune, aren't they? Thousands, they're so expensive. Um, this is beautiful salvage. I really love that purple herringbone. Hi, sunshining in Staffordshire. Morning, Vicky and the team. Sunshining at the moment or here in Staffordshire. Hello, Ellen. Whereabouts in Staffordshire are you? Good morning. The team say hello back to you, Ellen. Cat and Paul. Cat and Paul are the team today. Love the split pay. Just started my sewing journey again. I love that. See, I think since stay with us as well, hopefully we'll be able to inspire you and give you lots of tips and you'll learn a lot along the way. You won't believe there's so many people who I, I, I found over the last six months especially who have dusted off an old sewing machine or borrowed one or gotten into sewing. And I just find it really mindful. I think we all need to, I know that hopefully things will start to go back to a bit more normality soon but still i think i if I, i've learned anything from it is that i need to slow down and just do something mindful and i find sewing is so therapeutic uh, so yes whether you're a dressmaker and you want to get into quilting or if you want to get into bag making i love delphine's projects because they're quite quick as well if you th they look really really impressive and they're ones that you can do in an afternoon oh Christmas just round the corner. Who wants to make the pinafore in this or a lovely skirt, a Christmas beautiful outfit? Because it has got that lurex running through. Can you see? It's got a really, really beautiful sparkle. Oh, right, Julie, let me find out for you. So the cocoon jacket's that one. Oh, I'll have a look. It depends on... Um let me see if it depends what size. Yeah, have a look at this um, for a second. It depends... It depends, Julie, whether your fabric is 45 inches wide or 60 inches wide. If it's 45 inches wide, then you'll need three and a half metres. And if it's 60 inches wide, you'll need two and a half metres. I hope that helps. Um, and that's for, the, that's for the, um, the largest size of the jacket. Eight pounds ninety nine a half metre. That's really nice, isn't it? Morning in Perth in Australia. What time is it there now? Good morning. She says she loves watching Sewing Street. Do you know what? I am, oh, I'm so gutted because this year I was supposed to come and not visit you, but I, I would have come and visited you. I, I was going to be in Perth in April. My phone was getting married and um, my husband's family live in Perth. So I'd love to have come over. Maybe hopefully in the next few years I will make a trip over. I've never been to Australia and I'd love to. So thank you for messaging in and, um, Oh, she's, 
Oh, we, again, as I say, split pay um, internationally. Hopefully, we'll be able to ship internationally soon. So we'll find out. Oh, we do. No, we don't know. Oh, okay. 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 We'll wait. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not going to. Um, I think we showed it on air the other day that we can ship internationally. But we're waiting to see whether we could do it on split pay. Mm. Okay, let us speak to Hayley. We're not quite sure. Um, Alan's very excited that we're doing split payments. It's brilliant, isn't it? I'm so pleased that we've finally been able to do it, especially as I say, I know that at the moment we're starting on £150 and over, but that's where during times like this and it becomes an expensive time of year anyway so any help that we can offer I think it's perfect time to launch it very exciting um, oh the Berry Manhattan is so autumn this is very nice it is our autumn hour cat is scheduled very very well this would look beautiful in the cocoon jacket should we do the two patterns so the one that I was talking about is the cocoon jacket from so different Paul. So, right, 8 to 26. Size is 8 to 26, which is a great size range, isn't it? And I really like the style of it because it's quite a relaxed shoulder. It's quite a relaxed feel. It's one, again, I think that you could dress up or dress down. And depending on what fabrics you're going to use with it, let's see what the requirements are. So, it says suggested fabrics. It is a fully lined jacket as well. So for the body, it suggests a medium or heavyweight wool, a boiled wool, heavy cotton, denim, cord, yes, brilliant, tweed we've had today. Um, I don't know what gabardine is. Gabardine? Gabardine and heavy knits. I always get caught on that one. I'm not sure what it is. Um, but it does just hang off the shoulders for that really lovely, relaxed fit. And you can see, as always with So Difference, uh, we've got beautiful pockets. You could actually even do some contrast, couldn't you? Because you've got these seams here, obviously with seams, it's brilliant to be able to adjust. So if you'd prefer to take that sleeve slightly longer, it is designed to be probably similar to my um, jacket here with a really, really lovely um, sort of like a roll neck or polar neck jumper. I think that would look lovely. Um, you've got great support from the So Different website as well. If you do go onto the website, we'll have a quick look and show you now. They have a whole blog with more about that jacket. And look in different fabrics. It looks completely different. Contrasting sleeves, the lovely um, collar. Look at that in a completely different fabric. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So all of your uh, size requirements, size measurements are here. So uh, as I said earlier, the total fabric quantity, if you're looking at 45 wide, then you'll need 3.25 metres. And remember, we, buy, we sell by the half metre, so you'll need 3.5 metres. Um, if it's 60 inches wide, then you'll need 2.5 metres. If you want a live demo, Faye, who's a fantastic dressmaker, she demonstrated this back in August, the 6th of August, if you want to watch it back. And it does say, difficulty two stars. So adventurous beginners, absolutely go for it. You don't need to worry too much about, you know, lots of fitted darts, something you're going to wear. And um, can, they can cost a lot of money, jackets like this, can't they? Perfect to 14 99 So that's a cocoon jacket. And then this one is your pinafore. This is the Grace uh, Pinafore. This was back in August, the 24th, did you say? 26th of August, if you want to watch it back on our YouTube channel, The Pattern Preacher, once again, I've got great video tutorials on their website. I think it was Gemma who came into the show, actually, who does the... Uh, who does the video tutorials for them. And they are a brilliant company, quite a new company actually, that are based in the Midlands. And they've got beautiful quality pattern paper, which is reusable, really clear instructions, and a very on-trend pattern actually. These pinafores are really, really in, and I think they look lovely um, in, in the tweeds. It does say the fabrics, I mean, there's loads of fabrics that you're gonna be able to use this with. And it will look completely different in a cord, heavyweight jacquard, woolen jacquard, medium weight denim, uh, as long as it's non-stretch. Cotton canvas you could do. You could use heavyweight satin. Wow, you could use velvet, silk, silk rayon. Be careful if you are purchasing any fabrics from this first hour because you'll need a bigger quantity. We're quite limited on some of them. 
So if you do want three metres, for example, remember you need to put six units into your basket. So I'd stock up as soon as you can. Uh, you've got all of your size requirements here is sizes 6 to 20, sorry, all your size measurements, your body measurements and your fabric uh, length measurements as well. And then you can see they've got a QR reader at the, at the back here which has got extra help and video tutorial, complete video tutorial of how to do it. So that's brilliant, isn't it? £15.99 and I think, as I say, very, very on trend at the moment for your dungaree style. Easy to follow steps and once again, a beginner pattern. This is one that I really, 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 really want to try in. I'm thinking this one. I like that. Oh, thanks, Pauline. Um, that's a really good idea. Now, cat scheduling. She says, I'm jotting down all of your all of your ideas of different shows. We had a great idea yesterday of doing a backing show and showing how to piece backs of quilts and things like that. And then uh, I think that Pauline's asked, can we have an understanding of patterns demo show? So we open out the pattern, we have a look exactly at what you get, how you lay it on your fabric, how you cut it out. That's a really good idea as well. We'll definitely um, add that to the list. Thanks for your input. This is a great thing about this Facebook Live is that, if you've got any questions, let me know. Um, okay. The Sewing Basics for Every Body is brilliant. Now, what I personally love about this book is, I think this is the reason so many of us get into dressmaking, is out of pure frustration of trying to buy things in the shops that don't fit correctly. I can be one size in another shop and I can be up to four sizes different in another one. I mean, surely, is there anybody that agrees? Because this is something that I think is a common problem. A size 10 is a lot different to a size 10 20 years ago or 30 years ago. And a size 14, if you line up all size 14 women, they all could look completely, completely different body shapes. So to be able to make something that is completely personalised to you and is comfortable, but also also fashionable. You don't want to be walking around in, you know, in a, in a bin bag. You don't want to be walking around in something that is just going to... Um, <laughs> What do you mean, says you? I know I wear this all the time. It's on the advert. Oh, about you. I'm wearing a bin bag. So, I thought you were saying it. you're always wearing a bin bag, Beck. So, uh, so we've got for, for, for him and for her, it's got men's things in as well, absolutely. It's got really lovely techniques, tips and techniques. Uh, it tells you all of the different um, tools that you need. It's talking about adjusting patterns as well because this is a key part. Quite often, actually, it's just the same as when you're looking on a, a dressmaking pattern. Always measure yourself because even though this is a size 10 or size 12 that I might be in the shop, I, I might need to move up um, to the next size in a dressmaking pattern or I might need to grade between the two. So it will talk to you about adjusting patterns and adjusting hips and length and things like that. So that's really good to know how to do. Pattern markings, fabrics. So those of you that are after, um, if, you did, if you did message in Pauline and say understanding patterns, this might be a really good book to go to actually because it will talk about the different markings, telling you about everything really, really clearly. I know at the moment we're not able to go on dressmaking courses and workshops. So at 10.99, this is like having that whole masterclass. I mean, here I'm still on, you know, learning about pleats and hems, how to sew different um, styles of pleats, how to do front zippers, waistbands, elasticated waistband, sewing on buttons by hand, pockets. It's really, really thorough. Welt pockets, cutaway pockets, inseam pockets, and then you're getting to your projects. So a sweatshirt, whether it be, again, for him or for her, using ribbing, doing it as a hoodie style, doing it with different pockets, doing it with zips, doing it as a jumper dress, with panelling, you're going to be able to learn lots of different ways of how to do it. Putting it all together, you've got your patterns as well in here. Um, which is brilliant, isn't it, actually, when you're saying how much you're getting for £10.99. Uh, different ways of doing neckbands. Uh, these Harper pants, how comfy do they look? These look like post-lockdown pants, absolutely. Have you got tight jeans on? And they look like things, you know, that you'd buy in shops. These, these are really, <laughs> Paul's just called them cool kid clothes. They really are. I mean, look, choosing different fabrics as well. 
I know. You weren't a cool kid, were you, Paul? I love this. That's really cool. That's, right, a long shacket, I'm going to call it. Uh, Paul, this would be a maxi style for you, wouldn't it? He just said my feet would literally be at the bottom. I wouldn't be able to pull that off. Um, right, let me see if the book shows how to draft a pattern for you. I'm going to have a look in the... Because uh, all your pattern pieces, look, are here. And it's got pattern sh uh, sheet keys and drafting, drafting, drafting. Let me have a look. Dots. It doesn't say drafting in here. Pattern. It shows you how to um, adjust a pattern, but I don't know whether this is a book that's going to teach you to draft your own pattern. I'm trying to think of a book that does do that. Bear, let me... Does Jules Fallon's potentially do that? The Complete Guide to Dressmaking. I think there might be a couple of those on the website left. Uh, bear with me and I'll find out for you later on if you want. And, um, will you jot down... Uh, was it Anne, did you say? Anne's name, so I can message her later and see... Remind me to um, to have a look and see if the, the Jaws book does. So, you don't really get very many shirts, do you, in books? And I like the fact that there's, it's unisex. And jumpsuit for him or for her. This is lovely in linen, cotton. Oh, I love the denim. I really like that. That's very, it reminds me of Demi Moore in Ghost. Reminds me of what she would wear in Ghost. You've never watched Ghost Cat? That's my favourite film ever and she's never watched Cat. I've watched the stage show and I must say I prefer the film. It's quite sometimes like Dirty Dancing as well, I think I prefer the film. Yeah, I wasn't, they don't sing in it, do they? I didn't realise they don't sing. Uh, no, this is a shacket. Shirt jacket, there you go. There's a pattern, it's called the Dylan coat, but again, in different fabrics and different lengths, different styles of doing it. It's brilliant. What's that? Joan has said, I've bought clothes in my wardrobe from six to 18 in my wardrobe, so to be able to have, uh, you know, clothes that fit, is a godsend it's brilliant absolutely um, I love the terminology as well because I think when I first started it was such a minefield it was like learning a new language so you've got a really complex glossary in this book that is such great value for money for one pattern you pay 10.99 and to say here you've got 20 step-by-step -step essential pieces for modern living I love that five basic patterns to make 20 wardrobe essentials just 10 pounds and 99 pence check out as soon as you can um, just so you know, we have a watch, sorry. We do have an overlocker on the website. It's the Elna overlocker that's available. It's been very, very busy since midnight on split pay. I haven't got graphics for the overlocker, but I just wanted to let you know if you've been thinking about it, today's a really good day to get involved. The, the split pay option. What would the split pay what would the split pay option be on the overlocker then? Do you know? We'll have a look, because um so remember, on items over £799, it's five easy payments, split over five months, no interest. So this is the over, uh, overlocker from Elna. It's actually an air threading system as well, which is brilliant. Now this just falls shy of the five payments, so this is over three payments. So it will be £233 a month, three months. How amazing is that? How amazing is that? Now there's only three of those left. Um, so do make the most of it. I just wanted to let you know, because I don't have the graphics for that, but have a look on the website or speak to the team if you prefer, and they'll be able to talk you through your split pay options. You can pay for it up front, absolutely. There's no problem in that. What I would suggest, by the way, for, because there's a lot of people checking out, I wasn't going to mention this till 10, but do, don't, I wouldn't bother doing the premium delivery for it. Because it's coming directly from Juki or di directly from Elna, um, it's not coming from us, so we can't speed up the premium delivery. If you've paid for the premium delivery, we still can't guarantee that it will come in that, that time frame. So um, it, what do we say for the time limit on Elna and Juki? I think it's about a week. It's, it, it's no longer than that. I know that at the moment, obviously with things how they are in the world, I, I'm not up to date with 
their shipping times but it, it's not long at all it's not like you're going to be waiting six weeks like a sofa or months even it, it is still um, a speedy delivery but it will come directly from them so there's no point doing the premium delivery just thought I'd save you a few pounds okay should we do some autumnal fabric bundles now so let's do roaring fire this one's called roaring fire it's cat's brand new autumnal bundle and it's absolutely beautiful i like the name as well and it it does what it says on the tin doesn't it it is um oh lovely these sunset shades are unbelievable that's the uh you know the wood here's your kindling <laughs> here's your embers oh i love it and the flame it's i did say unbelievable i can't say it again paul I can't say it twice in the space of 30 seconds, can I? Um, absolutely, yes, please. So, do I to go through these colours individually for everybody? £28.99. You're getting four whole metres. That's eight half metre pre-cuts. So, you've got your cotton poplin on brown. We've also got claret, half a metre. You've got Claret Mixer, hot, hot, hot tomato, half a metre, orange, half a metre, orange mixer, so it's like a mottle effect, orange, half a metre. You've also got gold and tan. That's a lovely combo, isn't it? That goes really, really nicely. Um, did you like Delphine's autumnal cushion felt projects? These would be beautiful to do something very similar with like fabrics and free motion. You could you could make something like that with the stick scarecrow and, uh, and the sunflowers. It'd look beautiful. Um, Pauline, what I would do is I'd speak to the customer service team, speak to them because they'll know how Eleanor will contact you. Um, and if they're, they're not sure, then they'll be able to tell you whether to contact Eleanor about letting you know when your delivery is coming. Just wondering whether they send a text. Normally, they tend to sort of send a message, don't they, to let you know when they're delivering or they give you a rough time. I don't know who they deliver through, whether it be like DPD or Hermes or, you know, a, a different logistics company. So it's definitely worth speaking to our customer service team, asking them the process of, of how Elna work because they'll know a bit more than me. £28.99. pence. Brand new bundle today. Lovely bundle from Kat. The problem is, is... Trying to put this together again would be difficult because there's a lot of these fabrics which are extremely limited. We've managed to put together a select bundle, a select few bundles. So if you are thinking uh, of taking advantage of that, absolutely make the most of it. £28.99. I'm going to whisk through some more because we've only got about eight minutes before Delphine, Delphine, Delphine's here. Shall we do Midnight Blues? Our blues are always going to be popular. This is a beautiful combination. You've got teal, you've got midnight. Oh, I love that. Can you tell that Kat's really got into um, making all of these bundles? She loves it. These lovely blues are amazing. Half a metre of teal at the bottom there. Half a metre of navy. Half a metre of copen. Half a metre of cadet blue, half a metre of royal blue, and half a metre of marine blue, which totals three whole metres. Now, if you're multiplying on any of these, remember they do already come pre-cut. The, uh, the warehouse team have already pre-cut them. Thanks, Julia. There's lots of people. Do you know what I love about the the, uh, the Facebook page as well? It's such a community. Lots of people replying and, and suggesting different options. So I know that um, Julia says, I don't think that book does talk about drafting patterns. I don't think it does. Um, but there are many out there that do. And I think George Fallon might be one of them. Don't quote me on it, but if anybody knows of one that definitely does draft, uh, drafting patterns, drop it as, as a message to, um, to help. Or in the fan page, it's always a great community to... Um, to ask questions like that. I'll still find out for you. Okay, your mottled blues. What I think is it just adds a bit of texture without having, you know, a block solid colour. If you want to mix it with any of your, oh, this looks like a beautiful cloudy sky. How lovely is that? We've got sky. This one's called denim, which is a, a denim colour. 
Um, it's quilting cotton, it's beautiful. We've also got Peacock, they're all rose and hubble fabrics, they're gorgeous quality. We've also got Blackberry and Purple. Let me open up this Blackberry one just so you can see what half a metre looks like. And with Blackberry, it's, it looks very sumptuous. It almost looks like velvet when you see it on screen, I always find. Let me put it down and you can see the texture of it. And I don't mean texture to touch. It's got that most amazing deep, deep purple. It's texture to the eye. It's really nice. Morning, everyone. Morning, Lorraine. How are you? She's loving the show today. We're launching split payments today. We're loving this week, aren't we? We're absolutely spoiled this week. Um, obviously, Gemporia celebrating their 16th birthday. We're jumping on the bandwagon. We're, of course, part of Gemporia Group, so we um, have got some brilliant, brilliant surprises. Obviously, did 16% off yesterday. Launching split payment today. John Scott joined the company, which is just so exciting. So yeah, we're, um, is everybody still pinching themselves thinking, did that actually happen? We'll find out tomorrow, tune in at eight o'clock. Tune in tomorrow. It was all just a magic trick. It wasn't actually here. <laughs> it's all just a dream. I think a lot of us are thinking that. He's back tomorrow. He's back tomorrow with a uh, lovely Adele. Okay, and then we've also got Bursting sunset. Oh, this is John Loudon. This isn't Rose and Hubble. It's lovely. If you've got any good titles for bundles, would you email them in for cat studio at sewing street .com. Um, She's really going to town with trying to name the bundles. This, that one was Bursting Sunset. Um, <laughs> it's just so that when she sees it on somebody else's show, she knows it's her bundle. These are like the beautiful, beautiful skies that we had last night. Red skies and beautiful yellows, oranges. <laughs> oh, now whether you use it for that or whether you use it for, it reminds me of fruit salad sweets. Fruit salad sweets or Battenberg, oh, Battenberg cake. We've got gold. That's lovely, isn't it? Your gold. We've got sunshine. We've got lemon. Peach. This is coral and rose, all half metre pre-cuts, ready to go, perfect for quilting, lovely for bag making as well, they're great for applique, if you've got any Tilda fabrics, these will look lovely with your Tildas as well, these will look really, really nice with your Tildas. The complimentary bundle, oh, I tell you what, this was, this was really good, and I must say, I'm not, I'm not being mean, Kat, but when I saw it, I thought, Do, does this go with, does it? So, actually, yeah, it does. So, let me show you them all. This one's like um, a metallic gold. It's really, really lovely. It's got um, a, a cream with a metallic gold spot. You've then also got tan mixer. Sorry, that's called nude. That's nude. Then you've got tan mixer, which is your mottle effect. Orange mixer. This is chartreuse mixer. And then this one's called fur, as in, as in fur, not fur, not fur, but like fur is in the tree, fur tree. Thank you for clarifying. Not fur, but fur. It's like the same, but different, isn't it? And this was put together to complement your barley pop, barley pops, which are amazing. It doesn't come with a barley pop, they're separate, but for anybody who's got a barley pop uh, pack and wants it to go a bit further, if you get this bundle, it goes absolutely perfectly with it. Half a metre of fur, half a metre of chartreuse, half a metre of your orange mixer, half a metre of your tan mixer, half a metre of nude, and then you also get this beautiful, beautiful gold metallic spot, £23, 49 pence. Should we do the uh, barley pops to go with? Sorry, I'm flying through these, but it's, I'm just aware that I don't know where this um, where this where this hour's gone. Uh, so your barley pops are two and a half inch laser cut strips, pre-cut strips from Hoffman, and they are batik fabrics. So they are printed, they're ha traditionally hand dyed in barley. Thirty nine ninety nine for your beautiful barley pops. Just thirty nine ninety nine. They're amazing, aren't they? Perfect for uh, perfect for autumn and look lovely with 
any of you quilting, I know that Wendy Orlando absolutely loves these. And she has made so much out of one pack. You get 40 strips. Great colours. What was that? Oh, type in Delphine. Um, I just want to mention, because I think the last couple of times that Delphine's been here, when we've had any of her kits, they've sold out before her shows. And I really, really do not want anyone to miss out. So if you are desperate to get any of the, the kits or any of the instructions, if you go onto the website and type in Delphine, or keep just scrolling to the bottom, and then you'll see all of her kits. The bag kit with the tilde. Um, I know that the stags sold out two hours before the show, as did the autumn bundles. Oh, look at these. They're gorgeous. There you go, your Highland Cowan Unicorn. Instructions are there, and that's both instructions for £12.99. So it's great value for money as well. Have a look. I just wanted to warn you because I know it's always a busy, busy show and it's not till 11 today. Uh, so we're going to jump to a break, but we're going to get Delphine in and we're going to be talking all things block of the week or block of the fortnight. Two blocks, foundation piece of paper piecing and also piecing, foundation paper piecing and Dresden plate. And of course, all of Delphine's hints and tips. Now, if you've got any questions for her, get them in now and we'll ask her on air. We'll see you after this. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Did you know that if you shop with Sewing Street, you're only going to pay one lot of postage all day? That's one payment of £3.95 no matter what you're buying. And you can check out as many times as you like without having to pay another delivery charge. So shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or you can order via our call centre which is 0800 001 4433. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? 
I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business. It was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike. And they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colours that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, we've got a brilliant day today. Uh, it's just been the most amazing week, hasn't it? From Tuesday, I mean, we were, well, from Monday, but Tuesday where Neil arrived in and said, obviously, we've got our new website to look forward to from the 15th of October. Uh, and then he announced that we were launching Split Payment today, which lots of you have already taken advantage of. And then, of course, John Scott being thrown into the mix. Uh, and then it being Jim Poor's 16th birthday, it's literally been one thing after another. And then you say, OK, do you want a double whammy of Delphine? Would you like two days this week of Delphine? It couldn't get any better. <laughs> couldn't get any better. We've completely de Delphinified the studio today as well. We've got all of our kits ready to go. So for anybody who has been saying, I keep missing out on Delphine's kits because they sell out before 11 o'clock, please go to the website, type in Delphine, you'll see them all. We're going to do a huge roundup of everything that she's brought to air. Some we've got kits for and some we're doing instructions on their own so you can use your own fabrics, which I know a lot of people have been asking for. So we've tried to get as many together as possible, but still, Oh, I don't know whether it's going to be enough to go around. So check out nice and early. Well done to everybody who is taking advantage of the split pay option. I just am so thrilled that especially this time of year, it's been a funny year, hasn't it? And especially as we're going towards an expensive time of year with Christmas anyway, it's perfect time to launch it, I think. So very, very excited for everybody who's managed to get their machines today. I I've seen lots of messages coming through saying, I've got my Juki and I've got my Overlocker, I've got my Elna. So lots of people who have been taking advantage of that deal. Well done. Now, it is block 13 and uh, block, no, yeah, block 13 and block 14 of 16. So we're nearly there. You've nearly completed potentially your first full big quilt. Uh, now this is a quilt that's been designed by John Cole Morgan. I know he'll be watching and I know that he's very, very good on social media, answering all of your questions and, and, and getting in touch with us. So if you do have any questions for him, it's so good to get them in um, and speak to him on Facebook. So let's start with block 13. Now 13, um, we're stepping up a level of skills and that's what I've loved about the block of the week is that each world each week we're building our skills and we're learning new things this is the only block in the whole quilt that is foundation paper pieced and I know how much John Cole Morgan loves foundation paper piecing so it doesn't surprise me that he's included a block um, but don't worry if you've never done it before don't worry we're gonna go through it step by step with Delphine so Please call if you're having experience, uh, if you are saying you can't find it on the website, please, please, please have a look on, um, on the web or speak to the customer service team if you can't find it. Your item code number for this one is P06692 and this is the Blossom colourway. So you get your instructions, which are all your instructions from John Cole Morgan, plus you are getting your panel, which is this one 
we will go through exactly what you need to do, uh, how to cut it up, or what, what to do with Delphine, so don't worry. So this is your block 13 to 16, and this is the Blossom colourway, which is so pretty, isn't it? These are exclusive to us pre-printed panels you're not having to buy you know half a meter of each of these different color prints you're not going to get the wastage that you would if you had to put, buy by the half meter so this is really perfect for that and the colors complement each other beautifully now they're all labeled as well so you can see fabric nine is this one fabric five fabric four fabric eight three and seven it comes with a key in your instructions so you can you can uh, sort of delegate which fabric goes where seven pounds and 99 pence and remember that includes your full instructions and the ability to be able to watch back on youtube today's demonstration with delphine she's brilliant so she'll be able to explain everything nice and clearly for us so that's the one colorway we also have it which will look like this once it's finished it will look like that so that's with a cream background. Now obviously you can choose your background colour. You can do it with cream, you can do it with black, you can do it with white. I think somebody um, has done it with pomegranate as well, which is lovely on the fan page. So it's up to you. There's lots of different solids on the website if you are, um, you know, still trying to decide what to colour to do your background if you haven't started yet. It's not too late, you can still catch up. So the other colourway is your rainbow. This is what the panel looks like. Again, fabric nine, fabric eight, fabric three, fabric seven, fabric four, and fabric five is used in this foundation paper piece block. Seven pounds ninety nine. If you've never done foundation paper piece, don't worry, we're going to demystify it all today with Delphine. You've also got, of course, your instructions from John Cole Morgan. So if you have any questions for him as well, of course, he answers all your questions online. He's brilliant at that. So please, please do. Feel free, if you want to, to, uh, to message him uh, with any questions or message in today and we can try and answer them on air. This is what the finished block is going to look like once it's all finished. That's with a cream background. I, I have got a few options of backgrounds, but there's loads on the website. Obviously, all of our solids, all of our half meters are on the website. So if you do need to stock up on your background, absolutely make the most of it. So... Don't forget, if you've got any problems with the website of these patterns, um, some, it was appearing on mine, but then it wasn't on cats. And I know a few people have messaged in saying they can't see it on the website. So if you can't, just speak to the team. They're lovely and they'll be able to help you with any of your questions. If you're brand new here today, we also have bundles of blocks, 1 to 14. If you go on to the website, then you'll be able to see them. But this is what they look like. So we are now on block 13 and block 14 of 16 so we're nearly there but if you've missed out don't worry it's not too late to catch up it's 111 pounds and 86 pence and that's blocks 1 to 14 so you can still get involved so that was the what was that rainbow um, and then this one's blossom vg6649 Oh, Vicky G. That was my um, maiden name, Vicky Gordon. VG. Oh, did you feel nostalgic then in the gallery? They were like, oh, VG. <laughs> okay, right. Anyway, is there anything else I need to mention? We won't go through the um, the other one until we've done the foundation of her piecing, if that's okay. So we'll then go on to dress and play after us. I know that we've got a lot to get through. Delphine, Hello. how are you? Oh, I'm very well. How are you? Lovely. I'm good, thank you. Did you enjoy Wednesday? Oh, it was amazing. I couldn't believe it. It was just so strange seeing him here. <laughs> I was like, yes, John. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. I was watching. I thought, oh, I know how nervous you get. And I thought, oh, no, I hope that you, you're not just going to be really I nervous. walked in and he was just sat in the um, sat in the office and it was it was just so strange just like there he is just sat yeah. there having a coffee he's just a normal he's just a yeah. normal human yeah. like us all yeah. isn't he he certainly <laughs> no, is he's, he's a not. lovely chap he's not normal yeah. he's not and I can't say <laughs> no, he's not human either he's a uh, it's all magic. Anyway, foundation paper piecing. Yes. Have you done much foundation paper Not an piecing? awful lot. I'm more of an EPP girl myself, okay. so rather than FPP. So, um, yeah, so I really enjoyed this one, actually. Really, really enjoyed it. So, um, for those that haven't actually done FPP before, and also, I know we're doing the block of the week where you can keep going, uh, you know, you're doing the different blocks, um, you know, yeah. to, to, for you to... To make a quilt, basically. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. But one thing I do like about this is if you, even if you just bought the pattern and kept scanning it in, you could make a whole quilt with just this. Oh, yeah. It would look amazing. It would take a while. Yeah. 
but it will look absolutely stunning. Or could I just yeah. do this and do a cushion front? Yeah, or, yeah. absolutely. Especially if you if, say if you're quite happy with a lot of your normal quilting blocks that we've done previously and what John's done previously. And uh, but you've never uh, like me don't do an awful lot of mm -hmm. FPP and you want to give it a go get this one you don't have to take part in the whole block of the week but definitely get this one a go and have this in your stash and it's a it's a skill skill builder isn't it so. now I know this can sometimes sort of uh, baffle a lot of people so we mm -hmm. want to make sure that we spend a lot uh, as much yes. time as possible with you going yes. through as clearly as possible so where do I start right okay so in the instructions you will have the templates and they will come in four different squares just like this okay so what you'll need to do you will need to trim them down and uh, stick them together so it says bottom left bottom right you That's can see right. I'm with you so you will stick them all together using masking tape ideally you don't want to use cellar tape or anything like that because it will melt under your iron okay um, so, you're going to be ironing this quite a lot right. so uh, a masking tape ideally and if you want to draw uh, I mean I, I, I can see the uh, numbers through the tape but if you're not so sure then just uh, draw on top of what the numbers if you can't see them very clearly so make sure you've um, done that and trimmed it all down. So the finished block should measure, uh, I think it's an inch of 12 inches with the, with the border around the side, so it'll be 12 and a half oh, inch block. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So when we come to sew this, you will be sewing, uh, sorry, the fabric will be on the back. So make sure you put the tape on the front. Okay. Okay. Right then. So once you've got your um, template, you've cut out all of your um, pieces for the instructions. Uh, it's all written in the um, instructions. And then we'll uh, get cracking, I suppose. Great. Don't we? Right. So what colour are you working with? Um, rainbow, I'm going to work with, I've actually, well, I'll be doing a bit of both. Nice. So I'm going to start with the blossom and then I'm going to continue with the, um, the, with the rainbow. So with the, um, what was I going to say? I don't think we were with that today. Okay, so start off with your, um, it will come back to me in a minute. I was going to say something, I can't remember. <laughs> I haven't had my double, double caffeine this morning. Oh, no. So you'll start off with your one square. Now, if you want to have got a bit of glue or um, anything like that, especially, again, if you do a bit of EPP, then you just want to make sure that that first piece isn't going to go anywhere. You can put a pin in it. Uh, try and use quite a soft paper as well if you can. You don't want to use anything that's You want a thin, really cheap paper Really paper. cheap paper, yeah. yeah. So you don't want anything too fancy. This is out of my husband's printer, so um, this one's actually quite tough. But I don't think we've we got the foundation paper, paper, the Carol one. I just call it the Carol one. Carol Dote, I think it is, does an actual foundation paper oh, piece okay. of paper, but we haven't got it in stock. So there we go. So first of all, I'm just going to stick my first piece into the centre just there. Now I'm going to flip it over to the other side. Now first of all, I'm going to go straight to doing my first triangle. So I'm going to go to A2. Now each one of these triangles and uh, pieces has got a different number. It's got a letter and a number all the way up to 41. So there's 41 pieces in total. So you can follow that guide, or I'm just going to show you, uh, in my mind, I like to do it in a, a, a different way. Everyone's okay. got their own way of learning. Yeah, it's good to see um, a different so, yeah, way. So you can do it uh, in, this, in this way, if that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. So, uh, my homemade ruler made out of... Crunchy nut. <laughs> <my> crunchy nut. Because <laughs> <laughs> what you do want, you want to make sure it's really thin. So if you use, obviously, one of these normal rulers, then um, you, it's, you're not going to get that really sharp uh, point. So I'm going to go straight to my A2, I'm going to, on that line, I'm just going to fold that over. It's good though, that, I mean there are lots of great gadgets out there, like the add a quarter yeah. ruler and all this, but actually if you are only doing this block of foundation paper and you've never done it before, it's good to know that you can just, you know, use a piece, use your country nuts. Yeah, that's it, because you know, some, like you say, you know, times are different at the moment and you won't want to be spending money on all different <laughs> fancy rulers, cut out your cereal boxes. Well, well Cocoa Pops work as well. They're, I'm sure they'll work <laughs> fine. <laughs> so then, quarter inch, using your ruler, and you'll just trim that bit off there. Right, so you're preparing your seam there. I'm preparing the seam, yeah. So I'm going to turn it back over, and then I'm just going to work with a white today. Let me just get a pair of scissors. Um, oh, I don't need. It. I'll use me. I'll use my cutter. It's fine. So, does that need to be accurate of what size you're cutting, or as no, long as it's larger? No, as long as it, as long as it's bigger to make sure okay. that you've got the overhang. So, you will have a bit of wastage, but it's fine. Just put it in your scraps, and you can use it. Um, okay. So, but if you're using pins, I recommend you use flat-headed pins. Okay. Uh, only because. Um, when you've cut, turned it over and it's going through the machine, you might have that little bump and you don't want that because that could uh, put your seams, your, your stitches out a little bit. So a flat 
Um, Are they the flower head ones? The flower head ones, yes. Yeah, they're, they're nice good. and flat. Making sure, um, if you can see here, keep it away from your seam. <laughs> yeah. It's very tempting that when you're uh, pinning fabric pieces together, it's very tempting to put them on the edge, but then you, you won't be seeing that, so you don't want your machine to go over that. That wouldn't okay. be a good day. Okay, so now I'm going to take it, turn it back over, making sure you keep them flat, and I'm going to sew along that first line here, along that A2. Right, so they're your sew the line. lines. These are your sew lines, yeah. So let me just turn my pedal around. Sorry, I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, there we are. There we are. I've moved it already. There we are. It's a good job I've checked that. Let's see, it's moved. We are just going to be cycling there. through the graphics, by the way, between Rainbow and Blossom. Um, just check the, the item code number against the word, what colourway it says. Okay. So off I take it to my machine. So it's slipping about. My glue's not dried. Oh no, I have to be really careful here. So once you've sewn that first one, it's going to start yeah, to stay in place. So this one. is where you, yeah, just take your time. Have a quick look. Yeah, I'm happy that that's all lined up there. So put down, make sure you're on the line, and then off you go. And do you stop bang on the end of that line, or do you can yes, you? Yes, stop yeah. bang on the line. Right. And then you pull that out and then you'll open that out and you'll give it a quick press. I'll do that in a moment. I'm just going to go straight now to the other side. So if you see here, I've done one side. Sorry, Paul, mm -hmm. I'm spinning it all around. There I'm now go. going to do the opposites. So I always do the opposite sides and you just build up throughout the whole pineapple block. Okay, so now I'm going to jump over to the opposite side. It's quite a nice shape to do as your first foundation paper piece project because sometimes some of the intricate designs, they're really small pieces, whereas this, you can get in a bit of a rhythm of doing your opposite. That's right. And, you know, once it takes a bit of concentration for the first for the first half and then you just get into a bit so of do you a leave about, do you, Are you leaving a quarter of an inch there? quarter of an inch throughout. A okay. quarter of an inch throughout the whole of the, um, the pattern. Yeah. Turn it back over. I will actually give that a press so it just stays out of my way. So have everything on hand, your iron, ironing board, cutting mat, okay. get yourself a proper little setup. Help if I turn it on. <laughs> yeah, it's good to get yourself a little station set up, isn't yes. it? Oh, you'll be able to do that soon in your new sewing soon, room? Soon, hopefully. Can't come soon enough. What is that that you said, Kat, sorry? Sue? Susan? I was, do you know what? This is so weird, Susan. I had a premonition that I knew people were going to ask about your jacket because they always do whenever you wear this. Everybody will ask what pattern it is or what brand it is. And um, it's really beautiful. You wear this, uh, it's you, you fancy, isn't it? it? Look, it's got butterflies on it and it's all wafty. I got it from, um, no, I didn't make it. Sorry. Uh, I'm not, I'm did you get it from where? What did the Susan say? The things in the sky at night, a hundred of them. What's that? Star yes, star. Oh, I'll have to have a look at my label. I know what you mean. Stars. What? It's a Q Garden. Uh, it's based on Q Gardens. Oh, is it 100 stars? Is it called 100 stars? Something like that. Yeah. Oh, I haven't heard of that. Okay. Yeah, something like that. I got it but from... But it's not... Do you say it's from there? No. No. I got it from uh, Stratford. Oh, nice. One of the... Um, yeah, pretty, isn't it? Really pretty. It's the first time I've worn it. Especially for the show. Oh, hang on, you haven't worn that. No, I've not worn this. Before. That is so strange because um, you've had something similar where we get a lot of people asking about Yeah, your my, my blue one. Blue one. Yeah, that's, that's just the next one. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. So then I've sewn my next one. I'll give that a bit of a press. So I know it looks a bit messy at the moment, but trust me, it comes together really, really, really quickly. And open that out. There we are. So I've done, let me just move it out of the way so Paul can see. So does John tell you which fabrics you need to use for where? So they're your background yes. ones, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. So now I've done the two triangles on opposite sides. Mm -hmm. So I've done that one and that one. Now I'm going to do these ones here. So back to my ruler, my crunchy nut ruler. <laughs> Fold it over, make sure it's nice and right on that line. And line up and trim off. 
Lynn said this might be a daft question. There's no such thing as a daft nope. question, Lynn. Paul said, well, there is. There is. But yours isn't a daft question. How do you know where to place that first central square? The first central square, it's a lot bigger than uh, the actual square. So the actual piece you're cutting out is four inches. Okay. And the square in the centre is actually only two inches after you've trimmed everything down. So that's what I mean. You do get wastage, but it's going to make sure that you're going to definitely, get, definitely it in the get it in there. Yeah. Right. So as long as it's in that centre square, yeah. that's where you place that's it. That's where you place it. Hope that yeah. helps, Lynn. Okay, so that one's there. Back over, back to the machine. It gives you such great precision, doesn't it, and accuracy that you, I think you would struggle to get from piecing normally. It does look, it makes your work look so professional. Yeah, it does. So that's that one. Oh, I'll just cut that one cool. Do you find you need to change your needle after doing this, sewing through the paper? Uh, you probably should. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. No. <laughs> but, uh, sorry, I just got that bit caught there. It's fine. I need a pair of scissors. Have I got any scissors? Have we got some here? I'll yeah. check you Only because I've got that bit caught because I was. Uh, right. This is why you need a pin. There you go. Yeah, I can hand sanitise. Don't you worry. There we are. Never did this to me once at home in the kitchen, but you do it on the <laughs> telly. It's, yeah, it's, it's always it's me, the isn't way. It? It's me. Oh, Paul's a bad omen, apparently. There we go. I'm just going to go back over that line. So that's what I mean. Always have a little check that you're not going to catch any of the other fabric. There we go. Ah, lovely. There we go. Right, and then I'm going to do the other side. So definitely press as you go, like I said, because otherwise things get in the way until because you have got a bit of a, an overhang on that fabric so you don't want it in the way and i'll trim those little bits off i am using a darker thread only so you can see it so i yeah. will i will normally trim those off okay and then onto my no problem lynn there. that's what we're here for lynn just said thank you oh. get all your questions in absolutely i've got facebook live open here so any um any messages? Can I have the code for block 14, please? The Blossom one. Yeah, we're going to do it in a minute. We are going to do it in a minute. We're going to do it after the foundation paper piecing, if that's okay. Yeah, there's uh, the Dresden plate. I love a Dresden oh, yes. plate. It's one of my favourite blocks to do a Dresden plate. I've done it quite I a few times. I was going time. to say, I think I've seen you do a Dresden yeah. plate before. So, last triangle now. It's a good one to learn how to do, actually, as well, isn't it? Again, it comes. It looks really impressive, and it comes yeah. together really, really quickly. And there's loads of fun things that you can do with a Dresden plate. Nice. Okay, last one then. So make sure that doesn't fold up. Back to the machine. So now I've sewn round all four sides of that small square. Okay. There we go. So that's that square all done. Open it out. When you're doing block of the week, when you're constantly using the iron, it's a lot of squats. Yeah, it's good. Although you don't need to, because you're doing your co body combat Ooh. now. And spin I haven't have done been, much this week. I was going to say, have you done any classes this week? Uh, Monday I did a couple, and I'm supposed to be going on a, a bike ride with my best friend on Sunday. We both got really into cycling lately. I oh, I've heard about this, because you cycle to John near John's pub, don't you? We do, yeah. Well, that's usually with the boys. Oh, OK. Uh, but no, me and Bex usually go just on our own. Um, it's just our mum time, you know? Yeah. So no children, we've got no makeup on, we look a mess, but I, I love you, Bex. Sorry, you don't look a mess, you always look lovely. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we just have a little tootle. I say a tootle, we do anywhere between 26 and about 36k at wow. a Wow, gosh, that's brilliant. Yeah, so it, it, at first we looked like we had all the gear and no idea, but we're, <laughs> sl we're slowly getting, slowly getting there now. But um, we stopped. We actually stopped in Warwick the other week. Oh, um, nice. Stopped at that cafe Nero on the corner oh, for yeah. a coffee, and I thought of you. We I was cycled say, through you the square. You should message me if you're in Warwick. It was quite early. <laughs> it was. It was quite early. Oh, I'm up really early. You an early bird? I am. She's My body an early bird. Just changed now. Now that I'm here. So right into that scene. Quarter inch. Trim it off. 
Yeah. You do get into a bit of a rhythm with this, actually, don't you? Yeah. And that's it. I will trim that little uh, bit off in a moment. So just place your pieces. Always make sure that they're in the middle. So if you think about the... Um, let me turn it over so you can see, rather than being white on white. So always think if that was in the middle, put that on that middle corner there, and that way you know you, you're not going to have any bits that aren't going to catch. I'm with you. Yeah. So do you need to pin that there, really? or Yeah. Yeah. I pin, like I said, just, you only need one of these flat pins, flat-headed pins, which are really good because they're really sharp. I never used these until I started coming on the show, and now I won't use anything else. Yeah. These flat-headed pins, they're so good. So now I'm going to sew along the next line. Okay. So I've started on the next square now. Make sure everything's caught. Make sure uh, all the layers. Have a quick check. Foot down, straight across the line. There we go. And then trim it back. Give it a bit of a press. Sorry, I don't mean to be a killjoy. I said, I will, of course, let me know if there's anything you want me to answer or anything you want me to do. And then I've, somebody's asked the item code for the, uh, and we're like, no, you have to wait, wait until the next bit. Cat's telling me you have to wait. Sorry. There we go. Can't be a killjoy. It's so, not me. again, I'm now going to the other opposite side. Fold it over, trim it off. Sorry, Paul, I'm making a mess again. I made he says a, he can I see everything. A, He's loving it. I made a right mess the other day. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did feel sorry for uh, Elliot. It's still all on the floor, isn't it? I don't know. I think he's hoovered. <laughs> no. You were with all the boys, weren't you? I was. Wednesday. It was just me and the boys on uh, Wednesday. Fur being with the girls, though, don't you? I've got to be with my ladies. <laughs> and Paul. And Paul. <laughs> Paul makes me coffee. He's lovely. Okay, then now I'm doing the opposite side to okay. the square. I do love, love these prints, the um, blossom colour. Oh, I, I love them. It's so pretty. I love the blossom. I love this pink that I'm using at the moment, yeah. actually. Like you say, it's very liberty. It is, isn't it? So it's starting to come, come along really well. Now. This is the good thing about doing just... It's manageable, isn't it, to just do a block a week. You don't even need to... Set yourself a whole, you know, evening to do this. You could just do 15 minutes of sewing a night yeah. and get it done. And the one thing I love about Block of the Week is, is if you think, I've said it before when I've done this, um, how expensive it is for sewing lessons yeah. and yeah. quilting lessons. We can't do that at the moment. And people are wanting to be more self-sufficient and learn to yeah. sew and start a new craft. So there's nothing better than this. Yeah. You know, you can go back and watch all the videos. And also, if you're in a lesson, you've only got like, what, an hour, two yeah. hours or so? Yeah. And then once it's over, you're at home then, but you can go, oh, I can't remember what they said on that bit. On the bit. But you can just look back and, yeah. um, and watch it again. And then you go, right, that's what John said. That's what, yeah. that, you know. There we, we had a question asking, do you need to do a locking stitch at the start and the end of each stitch? No, only because you're going to be going over your stitches. Right, I'm with you. You'll so, be covering those. So there won't be, there won't, nothing will be coming undone. So not to worry about that. There we go. I mean, you can if you want to, but I don't. <laughs> there we are. So I'll do one more on this side, and then I'm going to jump ahead a little bit. Okay. So are you still doing opposites? Um, yes. You're still going round in so, opposites? Yeah, yeah. so op opposite sides, opposite sides, and I will keep doing that. Yeah. to build only because like i said everyone's got their own way of doing things yeah um when you start your pattern you might find following my way you might follow it on the template you might find your own little way of doing it yeah so um yeah there's no there's no real rule it actually it. builds really quickly and you've just got your points absolutely spot on it looks you? really it just, good <laughs> it does and it's, it's it's kind of a foolproof way of doing it isn't it this way you it's just getting into yeah. that that uh, rhythm, you know. So, you know, we're folding it over, trimming it off, lay the piece on, give it a, put the pin in it, and then have your pile of scraps on the side there. So I'm going to put on my last little pink one here. Put the pin in it. 
As the, uh, the pieces get bigger, have two pins on hand, so you do either side. And there. Oh, what's it saying? Computer said no. There we go. We will be running through this machine later, by the way. And with our new split pay option. My favourite machine. Absolutely love it's this great, machine. It's great, isn't it? I do. Yeah. I want one. There we are. So, that's it coming together. So nice. It comes start. together really quickly. And then... Here's one you prepared earlier. We fast forward a little bit. Oh, nice. There we go. So, this is it starting to come together now. Oh, that looks lovely in the rain, though, as well, doesn't it? It does. It really packs a punch, doesn't it? And like I said, look yeah. how tidy it is. Really, it is. really tidy. So I'm just going to show you how to quickly finish this one. It's so amazing. This is just using strips that, you know, don't need to be particularly accurately cut either. No. No, because, uh, like I said, some of these are have all frayed, but no, it doesn't. Um, oh, they, oh, I should have had a longer cereal piece, cereal box <laughs> piece. There we are, where's my ruler? There we go. And remember, quarter inch seam throughout the machine and using your ruler. The last piece, put that on there. Stick a pin, remember, always <laughs> don't pin near your way you're going to be sewing. Okay. It's very easily done, but you don't want to be going over that. I suppose because you flip it over, you can't see where they are, so just keep them out of the way. And there's nothing worse than that sound of a broken needle yeah. on your machine. Longer ones now. Don't forget to jot down today's date so you can watch this back on YouTube. It's the 9th of October today. There we go. Flip that back. So that will just be your um, the white triangles, which I think we might, they might be quite quick to do actually. So I'd like oh. to show you a finished block. Lovely. There we go. But imagine, like I said, having this as a quilt, having all of these. Oh yeah. And, and like you say, actually, it wouldn't be too difficult to do, would it? You can just photocopy your, your template. Yeah, make sure you print them to actual size okay. on your printer, not, um, a lot of printers will print them to fit the page. Right, that makes and, sense, yeah. And uh, so when I first printed this one off, actually, because obviously I get it sent through email, um, it was it did come out smaller. Okay. And then I, spoke, I, I said to Nick, I was like, I'm not sure why it's come out smaller. And he was like, oh, you just need to make sure that you print it actual, actual. size. Okay. Yeah. So we're just going to do those last corners now. So do you need bigger fabric for the corners? Because they're... Slightly bigger pieces, aren't so, they? So, yeah, just make sure that you've got the overhang, so enough uh, the overlap. So, I said there is a bit of waste, but then, you know, it's an excuse to make a scrappy quilt or Absolutely. something, isn't it? So We always find ways of using them. Yeah, because us we? crafters, we don't need don't an excuse, do we? No, absolutely. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. I can't, I just can't throw things away, especially when it's fabric. How are you getting on with packing for your move then? Not very well. I haven't packed an awful lot. I think we're moving some things over today actually into the into the new garage. Oh, that's good. I suppose yeah. that's the handy thing about moving just a stone's throw away and knowing them is that you can say, can we just start putting things over and the throwing things? Have they moved out yet? Uh, they've. Uh, I think they're going up to, uh, up today to Scotland, but they've okay. entered the the house. But oh, they're. Gosh. I know, they're so lovely, they're such nice people, it's, they've actually become friends now, Aww. yeah, so I'm looking forward to hopefully one day go up and see them, so, yeah. hello Johan and Laura, if you're Oh, watching. lovely. And I was showing you the picture of my island this morning, wasn't I? Yeah, Duffy's island. got a fancy island in her kitchen. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait till we can come round, that would be so nice. That would be lovely, well we've already said we're going to have a, a needle felting and crafting class, we aren't are, we, in are the we? kitchen. Yeah, you've got plenty of space around that island. Yeah, a few glasses of wine. Nice. So obviously, yeah, so I haven't cut that a little bit bigger. Cut that one a little bit wider because I'm okay. using scraps. So uh, so bear that in mind when you do do that one. So let me spin that over. There we are. So, yeah, so just make sure that they overlap the pattern. 
Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. I suppose you can fold it back and just sort of triple yeah, check. Just double you? triple check. So, yeah, because I'm out by, I don't know, a quarter of an inch. Yeah. But I suppose there's not too many seams to unpick if you if, if you realise that that happens. Oh, no, not at all. That would take you seconds to unpick stitches. that. Yeah. But in the, uh, the, because it's telly, I'll just keep going. Oh, yeah, keep going. Yeah, keep going. So yeah, just make sure that that's a little bit, a little bit wider. There we are. Kate wants to come to the class with us. If you bring the wine, Kate, absolutely. Oh, lovely. <laughs> bring in cheese. Cat's bringing cheese. I'll supply the wine. Oh, nice <laughs> wine and cheese and needle felting. Or oh, are we oh, going to do? Um, I really want to make one of those pinafores as well. Oh, we do you could... do dressmaking? No, no, I'm not a dressmaker. Well, we can learn together. Um, yeah, I'm not. I think it's only because I'm. Well, you've seen the way I create. Yeah. Where so I'm one of these that I just. Oh, I'll just throw that on. I'll just yeah. do that. Whereas I think I'll have to rein myself in a little bit more. But you'd be amazing at almost like upcycling. So if you got something like an old denim jacket or something and doing some beautiful free motion and art and things yeah, like that, I'd that'd do be that. gorgeous. That, I'd love that. And I've, I've made. I make a lot of things out of clothes. Yeah. Um, I've done, I do a lot of keepsake things, so I oh, make lovely. a lot of, uh, like memory so people give me, yeah, memory quilts, memory cushions, out of shirts, yeah. and you name it, I've, I've uh, made them, so. So I'm going to uh, stop there, but all you would do is sew those other two triangles on and trim it, and trim the whole thing off. So until it would look, that with a blossom, like this one. Oh, lovely. So that's lovely in the blossom, isn't it? So really you trim it all off. And like you say, you could have a bit of an extra border, make it just make it into a cushion, or uh, scan the pattern, keep printing it off, and make um, make a really big quilt. That looks like a lemon background as well, doesn't it? it that does, looks really it? nice. Yeah, so that's uh, I just love that pink. Yeah, it's so, really, yeah. really pretty. Brilliant. Thank so you ever so much. That and that was very, very clear. So do please watch back today's show when you get your kits home. If you're struggling with anything, you do get, just to quickly recap, your instructions for block 13 and your panel with it, whichever one you're choosing, whether it be the blossom or whether it be the rainbow. Um, so we also have, do you want to just quickly show the graphics for them? So this is the Blossom graphics, let me show you. The panel looks like this. Now you might still need to ring, we're working on it. If it's not on the website, please call the customer service team if you want to grab this one. Um, all of the fabrics there that you need, all you need to do is add your background fabric, your background choice of colours. So that's the Blossom. We also have the rainbow, which you saw there, Delphine, working on towards the end of the hour, which is a really lovely colourway as well. What do you think the majority of people are doing? Have you seen on the fan page, Cap, what um, majority of people are working on? I wonder whether you're doing the um, thing. Really blossom. Right, so this one is your rainbow block 13, which you've got your square dots. Do you want me to... Um, Hold it like this, Paul. Oh. So, this one is M, M for mother, S for sugar, X for x-ray, C for cat, <laughs> 73. That's your item code number. Sorry, you can't get the graphics in. But um, speak to the customer service team. You do get your panel, which is this one, and you get your instructions. There you go. So you get this and this for just, what price is it again, sorry? $7.99. It's so good, isn't it? $7.99. And you're getting your, oh, there you go. Thank you, Paul. Um, you're getting your instructions and your panel. £7.99. MSXC73. So, right, sorry, I know you were waiting for this. Are you ready for block number 14? It is your Dresden plate, which is, as Delphine said, it's one of her favourite blocks. It's such a useful block to know how to do. Uh, and I know that John has in the instructions different ways of doing it. We're going to talk through Delphine's favourite way, her choice of way of doing it. So, um, the rainbow first. This is the rainbow block, what it looks like made up. You've probably seen Dresden plate without even realising that you know what a Dresden plate is. It's one of the most traditional quilt blocks and it does look beautiful in the rainbow colours. So that's what it will look like finished. You have your instructions and you get your panel for 7 99 Brilliant price. They're pre-printed panels uh, designed by John Cole Morgan. 
fabric two, fabric three, fabric nine, fabric eight, fabric seven, fabric six, fabric five, and fabric four. All of the instructions are written by John, so if you've got any questions for him, he's very active on social media. If you follow him on Facebook or if you get in touch with Sewing Street, then um, he is part of the fan page as well. So he'll be able to help you with any questions that you might have. So that's the rainbow and then we've also got Blossom. Don't forget to call the call centre. Don't forget to call the customer service team if you've got any questions or if you uh, want to add it to your order. So then this one is Blossom again. It's only $7.99, block 14, and it is very Liberty-esque. It's very pretty indeed. Uh, fabric 2, Fabric 3, Fabric 9, Fabric 8, Fabric 7, Fabric 6, Fabric 5, and Fabric 4 are the ones that you'll need, which will then, of course, so have um, your key. So there's your rainbow and Blossom key ready to go. So, there are different ways, as I say, of doing um, a Dresden block, which we'll talk through with Delphine. You have your templates included in here. You do have your templates. I know a lot of people absolutely love working with the Creative Grid Dresden. Um, this is your 18-inch Dresden, sorry, not 18-inch, 18 18-degree. 18 degree, uh, which is your nine inch Dresden ruler, 20 pounds and 99 pence. Very, very limited. It also comes with a circle as well to have in the center if you want to do that. As Delphine said earlier on, we'll talk to her about this because there's so many different ways of doing Dresden. Whether you want to do it like that with the center that you can applique onto the top, um, but these are really, really useful and you can do your Dresden right up to nine inches with that with this ruler. You don't necessarily need it though, don't worry, you don't need to invest in that if you are just doing this for the first time. We just thought, whilst we've got them in stock, we'll mention them. Uh, is there anything else that I need to mention? Obviously you need to get your background fabric and you can get the whole bundle, the whole shebang. Is this one on the website? Yeah, you can get this on the website. So if you haven't yet started your Block of the Week quilt, don't worry, it's not too late. You can still stock up on all of the blocks um, from blocks 1 to 14. That's what you can make. You can see it on your screen now, £111.86. If you want it in Blossom colourway, you can see that was the rainbow. The Blossom are all these beautiful floral prints. You can see the graphics live for you now. The prints are beautiful. That's what the Dresden looks like in, in Blossom. 111.86 and that is for um, blocks 1 to 14. Now for your background for the whole quilt, we recommend 2.5 metres. So it's up to you. The great thing about this, from previous experience of when we did Block of the Week last time, we decided to leave it up to you whether you want um, a, a lemon or a, an ivory, a cream, a white, a black, a lilac, a blue. We've seen somebody with a pomegranate with quite a dramatic dot. Background looks amazing. With greys, you can do all different colours if you want. It's up to you, but you'll need two and a half metres in total for your background for the whole of the quilt. Okay, Dresden Plate Delphine. Yes. Um, I know this is uh, something that you have demonstrated before because I know you love Dresden yeah, Plate. Yeah, I love a Dresden Plate. It's, again, it's, it looks it's really complicated but it's not and it comes okay. together really quickly. I've actually bought one that I um, oh, that looks lovely. made this I made years ago. Um, this is when I first started doing free motion quilting. So this is only using a nice. 16 block, um, using some Liberty scraps, but you can this is just different things that you can decorate it. So if you've never done if you're not doing block of the week and you want to give this a go, just look at all the different projects that you oh. can do. So you could do something like this, maybe using your own stash or whatever. So Absolutely. but get the pattern, get the instructions and uh, yeah, so that's what you can make. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, for seven ninety nine, just yeah. to get the pattern and get the, the panel, because, as I say, it has quite a Liberty-esque feel to it. You I could just blossom. do that as yeah. a beautiful cushion front. Because when you said about being Liberty, I was like, I've done one in Liberty. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, first of all, I'm going to show you how to use this really, really useful tool. I mean, I wouldn't be without uh, one of these. So um, not, I know that John says in the instructions there are different ways of There is different ways. Yeah. But if you, are, if you do do a lot of sewing and you plan on doing it for a big quilt, I'd recommend you get one of these. Okay, uh, brilliant. Only, uh, only for speed. Um, yeah. And as you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a lazy sewer. I like things to be quite quick. <laughs> so it comes with it's two embroidery. parts, doesn't yes. it? So you've got this, which we're going to use to cut out your blades, and you've got your circle, which will do the, which I'll show you how to do that um, bit yeah. in a bit. Yeah. So okay. yeah, you get two pieces. And they've got the non-slip um, grips on as well. So doing it this way, you will need to cut a strip so on, oh sorry, on your ruler, it will tell you, depending on what length blade you want to make, I want to make a five inch blade. 
so you will cut out a five inch strip of fabric so I'm going to so I've already done that for you so you're going to line up the top line and the bottom line sorry Paul um, let's move that out of the way and you are going to use your rotary cutter and then you're going to cut up both sides so I'll just do that now so make sure that both sides are lined up and turn it round and down the other side now because you've already got that shape on this one you can already go straight to the next and if you're cutting out lots of the same fabric the cutting out will be really quick you should just keep turning it around which I'll show you on the yellow so again you line line up by both edges and I'll just uh, yeah I'll do this one if I piece those together they would just cut from the yeah, the panel. they're just cut from the panel. Okay. So I'm just going to chuck those pieces over there. I will tidy up, I promise. I suppose the good thing about the, um, it, it makes it, it does mean there's less wastage because you're just flipping the rule around. That's right, yeah. There's, uh, you'll have uh, lots of uh, bits of fabric left over. In fact, the same lady, oh, I wish I'd looked on the, on the Facebook page for her name. I'm, I'm, I'm useless with names. The lady who did the pomegranate quilt is actually made a cushion using all the scraps oh, cool. from the block of the week. And it, it's, I know it's on the oh, fan nice. page. Okay, so then I've got my five, uh, my five pieces of my. They're called blades. blades. Did you say? Yeah, it's a you blade. Find blades. Yeah. So when it's, uh, if you think of it, of an aircraft engine, it's like that, the blades okay. of the engine. Okay, so we're gonna, what you're going to do now, to make those points that we need, uh, what you do is take one piece of the fabric, right sides together, and sew a quarter inch along that top line. So I'm just going to go and do that and chain pieces all together so it's nice and quick. Quarter of an inch? Quarter of an inch. Okay. In fact, yeah. Let's make that quarter of an inch. There we are. So if you were doing this again with, uh, if you wanted to make a really big quilt, chain piecing these together, it comes, you could do a quilt in this easily in a day. That's really good. I think it? you can. If you're nice and fast and you have everything set up, ready to go. So no need to pin because they're quite small, just fold them in half. So is it just the sort of speed chain piecing is yeah. beneficial? It, yeah, saves thread, saves time. We're yeah. all in a rush these days, aren't we? So, yeah. uh, it's, um, and also, you know, when you start and stop on a piece of small bit, a small piece of fabric, it can get eaten up in the. Yeah, in mine the does that. Yeah. Whereas if you chain piece, it stops it from doing it. Oh, that's a good idea. So then you have like a little, little bunting. Yeah. So you just trim those off. Oh, I like the scissors that make that noise. Oh, we talked about this yesterday. It's so satisfying, uh, isn't it? Is. So, because you're using, um, we're going to turn these out. Now, you see there's a little corner, just where, you, where that's sewn, like you would when you're cutting the corners for a cushion. Just give that a tiny little trim off, not too close to the stitches. Okay. Uh, is this what's going to create a nice point? It will, yeah. So obviously, if that was all bulky, it would be—it wouldn't look very nice. It will just be a bit bulky, and when you come to top stitch it later, it will just be a bit bumpy, and you get that noise on your machine. Um, have I got anything? Oh, oh we should have got bought our chopsticks. I knew oh, that no. I um. So I haven't got one. I'll just use the end of the scissors. <laughs> Me and Kat had our dinner at um, well, no, Asian fusion restaurant. And I had my whole dinner with chopsticks last night. I'm very proud of myself because normally I'm so greedy. Oh, that I can't I'll use just, them. I get annoyed after five minutes. I'm like, I'm just like, give me a fork. <laughs> same. I had a fork ready and I did persist and use them. But I did say, oh, this is what we need for us because our turning tools are out of stock at the moment. There you go, chopsticks. Yeah. <laughs> so turn them all right sides out using the chopstick or the end of your scissors, or a turning tool. Uh, what are they called? The little blue plastic ones, what are they called? Oh, you could use your stiletto, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, that's the one. I Not remember the heels. first time you said that to me. You were thinking I was uh, on about my heels. When we were over in the other studio, and I was <laughs> like, I never heard it called that, and I was like, what? Uh, so there we go, just turn them all the right sides, and give them a little bit of a press to make them nice and flat. So how many of these blades do you need to create a hole? 20. 20. Uh, at this size. Uh, the one that I showed you, the one that I made, was 16. So it all depends on the size. Okay. Uh, but yeah, 20. So 
iron on the back. So Tracy's got a good question. Um, oh, love jet. Lots of people are still going on about your jacket. Love oh, Delphine's jacket. Did you make it? It's gorgeous. Where did you get it in Stratford? Uh, Vinegar Hill for you. Oh, love it, love it yeah, there. Um, Absolutely. On the is it Sheep Street? Yeah, I've been to the um, the home shop that they have. Yeah, it's not near there. It's on the same street with all the restaurants, restaurants like Lambs and. Um, Opposite we live near each other. They've got a clothes shop as well. It's, it is fancy. It yeah, is fancy, Vinegar fancy. Hill for you. It's, they've, they've got scarves as well. Oh, all in these prints, but they're all uh, based on the Kew Gardens. Oh, nice. They're really lovely. Ooh. Lots of people asking about your jacket. Oh. Tracy <laughs> said, can someone explain scraps to me? I have off cuts. I have um, uh, when I make something and saving tiny bits that could be good for other things other than stuffing a toy or a cushion. Although... I would use proper toy f stuffing in, in reality. Yeah. Um, you prefer, what, what, what size is a scrap is what Tracy's asking. Well, it depends what fabric it is. So if I, as you again, you know, you, I'm, I, I'm quite arty. Sorry, I, I'll uh, explain, I will explain what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I, I quite like, you know, if you're using um, a batik yeah. fabric and obviously you've got the same print either side. So with something like that small, even the smallest that what's in my hand now, oh, really? I'd call that as a scrap. <gasps> because have you heard of confetti quilting? Yeah, I love. Confetti well, no, quilting. I haven't. I don't. Oh, I'll like, have to do. No, it. I'll love to do it on quilting? the show one day. So, um, you get all these little bits of scraps of fabric, or you use some batiks and you just chop it up, and so it's like a dust. Yeah. And then you want to create a picture with it, so it's nice to do trees and things like that. Ooh. And what you do, you lay all your uh, pieces of uh, confetti um, scrap. scraps. Yeah. And you get some netting. And you put the netting over the top, like um, what you use for a ballerina's, what's the, what's the name? Like a, an, an organza or a tool. Yes, yes, like that. And then you press it down and then you free motion all around it oh, to nice. secure it up. And then you pull the netting off and you've got this picture. Oh, so wow. you can use it as Can we small. do that? Can you create I'd love to do uh, that. Wait, well, well, have you got any batik fabrics in stock? And all yeah, this? barley pops. Oh yeah, you have from this morning. Yeah, I'll uh, speak to Hayley, see if she'll let me have a play. Amazing. We had a message from Jan. Morning, Jan. Morning. With a picture. Oh, Jan! Oh, this oh, is a wow. first attempt at a Dresden quilt. Thank you for another fantastic that demo. Is amazing. This is my first attempt at a Dresden quilt. I love the whole process. Happy crafting from Jan. Jan! Well done. And I love the different shapes as well because, I mean, you're doing the points, but also you can do it curved, yes. can't you? Yeah, so it is more like a plate. Oh, I love that, Jan. Thanks for sending that in. That's really lovely. I love all the different colours. I love that green in the bottom left. I love green. It's my favourite colour. So where is it that you're stitching? Sorry, we, so, were, we, were, yeah, chatting. Sorry, we, were, we were We were chatting. So to sew the blades together, very, very simply, make sure you change the... Uh, I've lost one somewhere. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, it's here. Oh. So... You sew them into pairs? Into, into, so you just sew in the right sides together. First, I'll sew them into pairs, and then right sides together, you're going to sew along that straight line. Just along there. They literally match point to point. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see on the um, the pa the pattern, they've all been paired up. So if you think you're doing it in four different corners, four different blocks to make the block. Right. So you're thinking it's quarters. Yeah. Right. I'm with you because when you look at it, you just see sort of curves, don't you? And you think, oh, I can't sew in circles or curves. Yeah. But actually, you're not at all, are no, you? If you straight see, it's, line. it's literally just sewing straight lines. Amazing. So, there's that last one. Okay, so that has made my quarter. And let's give it a quick guess. So, I mean, all these fabrics are dark. You can open the seams, but I've just, with this one, I'm just um, going to fan them to the one side. I suppose, have you, have you got any, you haven't really got any nesting going on where you need to match points, no, do you? No, no, no nesting at all. Um, if when you come to sew the, 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 the it's a word. The quarters, the blocks together. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting caught on my lead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Squatting. So uh, that one I've made earlier. Yeah. So you would make four of these oh, in nice. all your different colours. Yeah. So just use your key. And then you'll sew them right sides together and then that will make your fan. I like that they're grouped together yeah. as well, actually. Do you? Because I was thinking, oh, would I mix it up and change it? But actually, I think when you see the full <laughs> blot, I'm a yeah. fan of that. And I quite like it. <laughs> you're, you're a fan <laughs> of it. Um, it's quite nice if you were doing it as a cushion. You just put that on the one corner at the top. 
Ah, so it's good to just know how to do it. You can do it in cork corners yeah. of quilts, absolutely. And I think Kerry did one actually. A, she, with a, corner. a cushion. Yeah. yeah, she did it on a, a bolster cushion. I've made them one. I've made one out of ties before. You know, neckties. I've yeah. made one of those before. So yes. Yeah, so and then it will bring you to something like that. Oh, nice. Now, when you're using the plate, you will have this hole in the middle. So to to cover that up, you would use the other piece of the um, Dresden which is this here. Ah, okay. The other tool here. So to make that, you very, very simply, let's put that to one side. What I've done, this cereal box took a bit of a bashing to <laughs> So what I did is use a bit of cereal <laughs> and, uh, and then you just cut out your own little template. And then what I did is I, uh, I cut out a circle about, I'd say half an inch bigger Okay. About the whole circumference of that circle, and then using tiny little stitches, just go in and out, in and out. Make sure you've got a really firm, uh, big knot on the end, and you pull it. First of all, before you pull it, you put your plate inside your little stencil, oh, and almost gather it round. And that. you gather it around, and you pull it. And what that will do is that it will cling to your. Uh, I've taken the needle out now, so mine's coming out. Uh, 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 frame a little bit and you put it so it's nice and tight and it will make that circle you give it a press you take it out how do you stitch that onto your middle I would top stitch it okay you can satin stitch um, on the one that I showed uh, you that I've done before I've top stitched it you could even use some very small stitches and uh, so you can't see it like hand sew it on oh that would look really really lovely and if you're just doing it just doing the one you could put a little bit of uh, fabric down oh. here make a little flower you could do loads. Could I um, bonderweb it on to that? Yes. Yeah. So, so well, I'll show you. Yes. Yeah, so, bonderweb that on. Uh, so, uh, talking of bonderweb, I'll show you another way of how to actually put these together. So, if you didn't have the ruler and you're not, if you're a complete beginner and you still want to get the same effect, what you can do. I've got about five minutes, is Delphine. With your stencils. Oh, so they come in the in the instructions. In the instructions, get some bonderweb. Um, so you'll, you'll cut the bond web out the same size as the blade, put it on the reverse side of your um, fabric and then peel it off and you just stick it oh. on and you'll get the same. Oh, that's the easy way of doing it. So that's it? another way of doing it. So that's if, if I was a complete beginner, but I still wanted to get that effect. That's Where would I, would I sew do. then? Because obviously if you're using bond oh. web, you still want to sew it down. What I would do, I would satin stitch all the way around each piece because obviously there'll be raw edges. Yeah. Um, if you were, when you were doing the one that I've just done, the uh, what you'll do is um, get a piece of fabric. So I'll satin stitch raw edges down. For this one, you need a twelve and a half inch square block. That's your background fabric. That's your background fabric. Make sure you iron it so you can see that really well. So you've ironed that cross, so you know that that's the centre. Okay. So when you put your Dresden on the top, you line up the points to make sure it all matches up and then you can bond a web that to your backing fabric and your centre and then I will just top stitch all the way around the points. That's that. There's one more way to show you of how to do this. Amanda, are we allowed to show your picture by the way? It's a present I know for somebody so we've seen it and we love it. Are we allowed to show it on air please? Message Kat back and let her know. So another one to do, another way to do it, to create that same edge if you haven't got the Justin ruler Cut out your templates and then put on top of the fabric and what you'll do is you will cut a quarter inch seam all the way around your template and then you will fold and iron the corners. Then you will sew them together the same way you would the same way you would the um, the first time. The first yeah. time. Obviously those those pieces are, are a bit looser. You can see that if I turn that over. Uh, so then all you'll do is top stitch around the top or satin stitch. And so, yeah, there's three different ways to do that. If I want to make it curved, how do I do that? Or to make the curve, all you would do is you wouldn't fold, you know, when we fold the, yeah. the, the sides together and that would just be the circle. So ah. don't fold the sides together and then you make one big circle. Oh, nice. And uh, I, was, I was just thinking, I saw, did see something uh, on um, Instagram the other day. And they had a half a Dresden like this. I, I really want to do this pattern. I'll have to do it if I'm allowed. And they did uh, an applique turkey. Oh, amazing. Yeah, I might have to bring you that pattern. Or a peacock. <laughs> or a peacock. A, a, a hen. 
Yeah, absolutely. Also, so yeah, so it's not just about making it a plate. You can have fun with it. You can do other things. And like you say, Dresden yeah. is so famous that Instagram, yeah. Pinterest. Yeah. Once you know how to do it, there's so much that you'll you be able to do. And I've done, I've done some before where I've done extra ones and I've layered them around. So imagine you can do another layer, another layer, make one huge <gasps> flower. Oh, amazing! Sorry, I I'm love getting that. over. I get oh, a bit no, excited. Oh no, we love it. We love your excitement. Had a message come in from Hi Denise. Denise, Denise. That's it, that's it. It's oh, brilliant. brilliant. So this is what was left over from, um, well, she, she, the rainbow, the yeah, rainbow fabric. Yeah. Brilliant. It's beautiful, isn't it? Very clever. So Tracy, Tracy, this is what we're talking about when we say scrap. So uh, Tracy replied, said, thanks for the explanation. She says, I just keep everything. She said, my sewing room will start looking like a big sewing nest of fabric and scraps. But if you're using your scraps for cushions like Denise has here, this is brilliant. Absolutely. I love that. We've also had a picture from Amanda. Thanks, Amanda, for um, getting back to us so quickly. This is a picture from Amanda. Uh, good morning. I'm currently making a Dresden plate quilt for a friend's 50th birthday. She says, I couldn't do the circle, so I used a hexi. Good idea. Yeah, very clever. Good idea. Very innovative. I like that. I like the hexi as well, yeah. absolutely. Oh, uh, <laughs> you need to put the, the Instagram name next to it as well, Kat, really. Um, there's, so yesterday I met Rudy, who's Kat's little dog, and how old is he now? Ten weeks? Ten weeks and two days. So he is just the most adorable, adorable little pup. He smells beautiful. He smells like a little puppy. Aww. And Kat's like, I'm so pleased that you said that, because I think he smells. I'm like, no, he doesn't. He smells like no, a new that's... little puppy. Yeah, a little puppy so smell. Cute. Oh, so cute. So Kat had a picture of him, but she's just jotting down. His Instagram is Rudy underscore the miniature snouser. <laughs> I look I look like a, a schoolgirl though, don't I on it? Paul's like you literally look like you're wearing school uniform in this picture. I actually went out for dinner with the cat last night. Um the there it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Rudy the miniature styles. He loved me. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. We also follow Delightful Delicate on Instagram. It's lovely Barbara, who's Paul's mum, who does lovely free motion embroidery. Um, she does lovely bowls, like free motion embroidery bowls. I heard bowls. you say that the other day. I'll have, I'll have a look, actually, when I, in my next hour. I'll, have, I'll go and have a Google. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Um, Christine's also asked, what do you think of making the unicorn and highland cow into Ooh. a T-shirt design? Could you use it as a T-shirt design? That would look really cool, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Does anyone know any designers out of clothing? Yeah, come what and What about putting it onto the back of a denim jacket? I'm really interested yeah, in the jacket. Yeah, that would look moment. really cool. That would look really, really cool. On the back of a yeah. jacket. They're very in, a shirt oh, jacket. When we do the, um, on the next, so you know when I, uh, the Harley and Friends, you could oh, do yeah. Hank and Howard and, um, oh, yeah. oh, I'm getting all excited now. You can give him a beard. Get, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, that would look really Definitely. cool. Definitely. That's Different characters. Yeah. Back in an hour, aren't you? I certainly and am. And we're going to yeah. try and do a huge pit stop roundup of all of the kits revisited so I know they're always really popular you are literally Aww. like Adele of the sewing world the, you've been called the Bob yeah. Ross of, of um... oh, do you know, that was the best compliment I've ever had <laughs> I'll never get another compliment again that's you're now literally like the pop star here everything the tickets just sell out good before the keep show. them coming so yeah. yeah if you do want any of Delphine's kits get on the website now and have a look type in Delphine we'll see you in an hour thank see you, you ever so much thank, thank you. you right let's have a quick recap before uh, we start talking about split Pay. Very exciting. So I did go through the foundation paper piecing one earlier on. The Dresden is block 14. We've only got two blocks left. Gosh, where's time gone? So the rainbow is the one that you're looking at. There's the finished sample. You get your panel and you get your instructions for 7 99 I know somebody said to me, um, do you can you just get the instructions on their own? But for the price point that you're looking at, we wouldn't be able to do the, the pattern any more affordable than this. It's $7.99, that's already an amazing price. So, I mean, you can still use your own fabric, absolutely, for, for you know, if you want to have a go with it. So still get the, the instructions, you get the instructions on the panel and you'll be able to use your panel for something anyway. And then we also have it in Blossom, which is this one. My, uh, my um, tablet's going to um, lose charge. I'm on 10% low battery. We'll get a charger because I love seeing all your messages come through. It's really hand. Hello, Kim. Especially when I, I want to, you know, really thoroughly explain split pay to everybody. I want to answer any of your questions and I'll read them coming in. So, 
Um, it's new to us as well. So we're all, uh, everyone's in the office today, so I can ask any questions if there's nothing I'm not quite sure of. So that's the Blossom, which is FS6646. Speak to the customer service team for any of those. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Because we're going to be talking all things sewing machines. We're also going to come back to some of the bundles that we missed out on um, earlier on at 8 o'clock. We didn't get a chance to wear. So do not go anywhere. Don't forget, check out on any of your blocks of the week and also type in Delphine over the break and see all of the instructions that we're now selling on their own. Um, the kits that are back in stock as well, which will be airing in just over, or oh, less than an hour now. It's over past 10 o'clock. We'll see you right after this. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Did you know that if you shop with Sewing Street, you're only going to pay one lot of postage all day? That's one payment of £3.95 no matter what you're buying. And you can check out as many times as you like without having to pay another delivery charge. So shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or you can order via our call centre which is 0800 001 4433. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Rosie Weld. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits, feeling good, it's about looking great, making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside, and it's about the life that you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young, doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times, 
by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it so now I always measure twice cut once and anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon thank you If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Did you know that if you shop with Sewing Street, you're only going to pay one lot of postage all day? That's one payment of £3.95, no matter what you're buying. And you can check out as many times as you like without having to pay another delivery charge. So shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or you can order via our call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Oh, it's lovely to have all your messages. Kat's just been reading the, uh, the messages. It was on YouTube. Who is it that's just said, Susan, I'm so sorry, you've got to go to work. Do you know what? The great thing about working here is we never get that, do we? Of, oh, I've got to go to work. We're very lucky. So I'm sorry you've got to go to work. That's rubbish. But anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this morning's show so far. Welcome back. We've got balloons because we are celebrating Jen Poirier's 16th birthday this week. And um, I mean, we've just been jammy dodgers all week, haven't we? We've had such a brilliant, brilliant week. Obviously, 16% off yesterday on our show. We had Neil doing his amazing magic trick on Tuesday. We've had, of course, Course, the most amazing news that our new website's going to be launching, fingers crossed it all being well, on the 15th. But today, uh, we have got Split Pay. Now, this is one of the most... <sighs> I can't even express how exciting this is. Because over the last... Um, well, since we launched back on day dot, I think on that very, very first VT that Steve Bennett did with myself when we were talking about the channel and we were talking about why he wanted to launch this show and why it was important to him and what we were going to be able to offer, Split Pay was one of those points that was mentioned then. And that was back in February, 14th of February. Obviously, the craziness that's been going on in the world has probably slowed things down a little bit. But uh, I still thought that it was probably going to take a bit longer to get that process in. If I'm being brutally honest with you, from a business point of view, the reason that we, I personally couldn't offer split pay and John Scott couldn't when uh, we worked at Sewing Quarter was because we weren't able to, you know, to do it with that company. Whereas since we've been part of Gemporia, obviously they are an amazing group. Gems TV, if you've watched for the last 16 years, Jewelry Maker now is part of, of Gemporia. Uh, of course, they've taken us under their wing now as well. Uh, Gemporia Lifestyle, they've got a, a great array of, of channels and outlets, which means that from a business point of view, we're able to offer it to you. Now, it makes 
sort of no difference to us because uh, we're not actually charging any extra for the privilege of you being able to split your payments. It's simply just because so many people have asked us for it. We think it'd be brilliant to get more people sewing, get you on the amazing machines quicker. So. This is how it's going to work. Now, we are looking at expanding this. Those of you that were asking about um, lower price point split payments, you might have seen Neil's response to it on Facebook last night that Neil has said, we are looking into hopefully going to be able to split, bring split pay on lower price items as well. But to start, of course, we want to do it on the ones that are the most beneficial for you to be able to get home soon. So, items that are £150 and over, so things like your dress forms, your, um, your, your adjuster forms, things like your overlockers, your electric scissors, uh, which I know that we all love. And of course, one of the most exciting investments in, the sew it, in your sewing journey is your machine. So, any items over £150 will be split over three easy payments, three months. Uh, any items that are over £799, which we'll be talking about this hour, we will split over five months, which makes your payments uh, really, you know, a lot smaller, a lot easier, and you're not paying interest. If you go to a shop to buy a new sofa, if you go to a car dealership to buy a new car, if you buy a house or a flat, I know, I understand these are, uh, you know, can be more considered purchases, but they charge huge interest on a lot of these items and sometimes they might do a deal where they say really low interest or zero percent interest there is nothing nothing in it for us this is literally all about you getting your machines home getting sewing getting your items home uh, and having that you know the, the affordability to, to make it more accessible for you so it's really exciting interest free completely so we had a, a bit of a look on the website just to make sure there were no technical gremlins this morning to see what you see at home and from a first-hand experience exactly how it's going to work. So if you go to www.sewingstreet.com, there I am, it will take you to the live stream which you can click play and watch from anywhere you are um, on your tablet or mobile. If you scroll down past the catalogue, you'll see all of our machines always at the top. So uh, let's go, for example, the... 680, 680 plus, let's click on this one. So you can see the price. Now you can still buy it at that price. If you can afford to do it, if you want to get the 680 without doing the split payment, you can still pay up front. You have the option of doing that. You can see there, or you can pay 219 pounds and 80 pence per month. Now click on the little information button there. What does that tell us? More information. It just says basically split payments allow you to spread the cost over a fixed number of months interest free. So you will do five payments of £219. Now, say for example, you're getting the 680 today, which I know multiple people are. We've been waiting for this option for so long. If you're getting the 680 today, you'll pay your first payment today, and then you don't need to ring us every month. It will literally be the same card that you paid on each month. It will automatically come out of your account. You don't need to ring us. Um, each month, your £219 will come out on the same day. So you know exactly when it's going to come out, you know uh, exactly what you're paying and you know that it's only, it's going to be paid off in five months and know what bank account it's coming from. You're not going to have any of those, you know, the messages are saying, you know, you, yeah, you, you can make sure that you've got enough time to be able to move money around so that you, you're happy with the date that it's coming out. So you've decided you want the 680, you're happy to do the split payment as well. Click add to basket. It's been added to the basket. Kat's got her card details in ready for me, thank you. So then, at the bottom, can you see it says, tick five split payments, tick that. There you go, you've got one machine in your basket. Pay securely now, are you ready Kat? Please enter your details. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we're just showing Kat's address there. But anyway, it says there at the bottom, um, let me see what it says at the bottom. I'm just going to look on the little replay bit. So at the bottom, it will say pay securely now. It will say your total payment, um, well, the, the payment that you pay, your first payment was 223 and 75 pence. And your amount outstanding is 879 pounds and 20 pence. So it's obviously 
your sewing machine is 1099 your postage and packaging is our postage and packaging even though it's coming from elna oh that's a good point actually where is it that it's going to mention about our posting it mentioned just above there about postage if I were you, I wouldn't bother paying more for your postage, for the express postage, the premium. Just get standard delivery, which you'll see, or we can show you, in fact, actually. On your basket summary, it'll say delivery. Standard delivery is three to three pounds ninety-five, four to, to six working days. Premium delivery, because it's coming from Elna or Dukey or wherever you're getting it from, the uh, adjuster forms also come from adjuster form. So um, they tell, they normally say about a week's delivery, uh, up to a week delivery. So just go standard. There's no point paying that extra couple of pounds because it might not get to you in those two to three days. It might do, but it might not. It's coming from Elna. If you have any questions about the whole process, I've got the Facebook Live here. I've got, uh, of course, um, everybody in the office that I can ask if you have any questions, please do let us know. Also, our customer service team are clued up on split pay. They've been doing split pay for years on Gemporia, so they are very much clued up. They know exactly what they're, they're doing. It's not their first day talking about split pay. So if you do have any questions, um, call the customer service team, which is the number at the bottom there. It's free to call, UK, landline or mobile, and they will, of course, be able to help you through and talk you through any of the questions you might have. So. Let's start with the 680 because this is a machine that Delphine's just said. It's my favourite machine. It's absolutely my favourite machine as well. I'm not normally I'm not normally biased about things like this, but it's it's one that's become oh look at that at the bottom. That's just so exciting. Five split payment options, just £219.80 a month for over five months. Um, it is one of my favourite machines. It's a computerised machine. It's fantastic if you're a, somebody that likes to dabble between different crafts, whether you be a dressmaker, a quilter, a bag maker, whether you be, um, you know, somebody who makes curtains and alterations, if you do cushions and soft furnishings, uh, if you do free motion quilting, no matter what craft you sort of do, this is a machine that I think is one, very, very user friendly and will guide you through your sewing journey to get you the professional results that you want. I think this is the reason that a lot of people are, you know, wanting to upgrade a machine or think about moving towards a computerized machine. One, it gives you so many more options of stitches. You have got loads of stitches on this machine. You've got a great array of 170 stitches in total, a great array of essential, of your utility stitches, buttonholes, uh, you've got decorative stitches, you've got your satin stitches and all your applique stitches, lots of quilting stitches, plus you can do monogramming. It's not an embroidery machine, but you do have alphabets on here, so you can do personalization and monogramming as well, which we absolutely love. Uh, I love the storage in this machine. It, it comes with a great array of different feet, a standard, uh, and it comes with a nice little wardrobe, so you can locate all of your feet nice and quickly. And, and the, the, the machine itself, because it's computerized, it's ever so clever, it will tell you when you select what stitch you want, it will tell you what foot you need. So straight away, I'm on the, the default stitch width and stitch length um, for my straight stitch, and it's telling me that I need an A foot. It's really easy to navigate through though. If you click mode, which it does have a little stylus, so you don't get my big chubby fingers in the way. If you click here, you can see that it's jumping through different modes. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, so mode one, they're all really clearly uh, uh, sort of, how do I say this? They're all really clearly pictured on your stitch chart at the top, which ones are mode one, which ones are mode two. So let's just pick one of the satin stitches. I'm going to go stitch number 77. Now it's automatically told me that my foot, I'll need to change to an F foot to allow my needle to swing. It's defaulted and it's moved my needle to the correct position to the recommended stitch width and stitch length. Can I override this? Yes. I can't go any further than nine, but that's how wide you can do it, which is a great width, especially as I say, if you're doing monogramming, um, but I can alter it. Uh, you can also change your stitch length. If you do find that you're playing around with this too much and you think, right, I just want to go back to the start, click zero and it'll take you back to the start. If I then click 77 again, 
it will automatically once again default to the stitch that um, was recommended. So let's just go through this little touch screen because it's ever so user friendly, it's brilliant. So you've got that mode option here. Next to the mode, you've also got this scissors. Now, as I press it, you can see that it's 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 um it's sort of highlighted on the screen here. That means at the end of each stitch sequence, it will automatically cut my thread. How amazing is that? You're not having to reach for the scissors. You're not even having to press the button. It's just going to automatically do it. Sometimes you don't want it to cut your thread. If you're doing gathering, you want to keep your stitches long, you want to keep your thread longer, you can simply disengage that with the touch of a button. Overriding your stitch width and stitch length, really, really easy. It's telling me that I've got my foot pedal plugged in. You can use it with or without a foot pedal. Um, you can navigate through, in fact, let me go back to cancel. I'm going to go back to zero one. Um, if you go, oh, it's because I'm on different mode. Let's go back to mode one. You can flick through all of your stitches using that keypad at the start. You can elongate your stitches. Um, it will tell you if you can't because it will make this, num this noise. It won't let you do anything you're not allowed to do. So on the ones that you can elongate, it will, um, it will let you. You've also got twin needling options. So my twin needle button that you can see here is highlighted on the screen. If you want to do twin needling, decorative need uh, stitching, that looks great for that. Mirror image. So lots of the pictorial stitches you can actually flip. So let's say I'm going to go to mode two. Lots of my pictorial stitches are in mode two. And I'm going to do this, the, um, which one shall I do? Let's do the car. So 80 is a little car. Now this one, I can flip. So if you, if you look at the stitch card, it will tell you which way it's going to stitch. But then if you reverse it, don't worry, you can just do it with the, um, with a little mirror image, which is great. So, um, of what, sorry? Yeah, perfect. So that's your little car. If you press this button, then it will mirror image it. Um, you've got your settings here, so you can change if you want the noise on or off. You can change, you can change it and alter it. You can lock it as well. So buzz off, <laughs> buzz on, buzz off. You can also let me um, click back. What's it telling me? Oh, there's loads of different settings. I didn't realise this that you could go through all the different settings. What does this say? Position up. Speed, one, two, three, CLR. Oh, I need to look into all these. I didn't know that you could do all this. I mean, you could get lost in all these settings as well. Obviously, you get a manual with yours as well, and they've got a UK-based customer service team. Let's go back to our straight stitch. So at the bottom, you've got a little speed dial section. So you've got your straight stitch. You've also got um, a stitch over the side, your quarter of an inch. You've also got your zigzag, and you've got a buttonhole. It will tell you what foot you need. It's really self-explanatory, and then you can also lock it out of place. So if you're changing to a walking foot or your free motion foot, or you've got any little hands or little paws, that's really, really handy to know. Now, once again, if we just move over to the other side of the machine, you'll notice that it has got a really great size throat space. It's got a really nice sewing space. So if you're quilting or if you're doing any dressmaking, then this is really, really handy to have that well-lit sewing space. Um, uh, the great thing is, is that it is a machine that um, is, is already big, but it does come with an extension table as well. So the front of the machine has got your speed control. You can speed up or slow down whilst you're sewing. You can cut your thread with the touch of a button. You've got the needle up down option when you're pivoting, you're coming to any, um, any corners, then you've got that um, needle up down. You've also got a locking stitch with the circle underneath it. To start your sewing, you can do a simple tiny little knot to start your stitching. You've got reverse and you've got your start stop button so you can use it with or without a, um, a foot pedal. This is your, su your superior needle threader. So it does also have, oh no, I'm pulling the wrong thing. There you go. There's your superior needle threader as well, which is brilliant. And you can see top loading bobbin, really, really easy to, uh, to cut your thread on your bobbin as well. 
We're going to go through the technical features and functions of this machine. As I say, it is one of the most popular machines that we uh, that we start. Whenever we talk to guest designers about what machines they want to use, they'll often use this. In fact, this is the one that John Scott has at home. This is the machine that he's got. I'm sure that we'll get him to talk about this one day because um, I know he's he's helped me so much with this machine. If there's ever anything that I go, how do I do this? I'll always voice note him and he'll he'll quickly reply to me so you can easily quickly with a flick of a button lower the feed dogs as well for free motion which is fab so here you go here's the technical features so a pool of skills for maximum efficiency and that's what I love it's really efficient it's really quick and easy to use so suitable for both advanced hobby sewers and a beginner. This model in our excellence range provides a large sewing space and intensive functions whilst ensuring simple operation and the highest sewing efficiency. You'll enjoy every minute spent sewing. That is so true. I obviously, honestly couldn't have put it better myself because I, the reason I love it is because I know people who are in the industry who sew every single day for a living who use this machine. I also know people who only sew on a Sunday who just sew as a hobby or just do a little bit of sewing who also use this. As somebody who's transitioning to that amazing computerized machine, this isn't one you're going to need to upgrade, but please don't be put off by the word computer because it's so user friendly. We'll go back to the, uh, the slide. 170 stitches and 10 buttonholes. Maximum stitch width, as we saw earlier, was nine millimeters, which is a great size. If you're doing any of these pictorial stitches, any satin stitches, if you're doing monogramming, it looks great as nine millimeters. Minimum stitch length is five millimeters. It's got two alphabets on there. It's got capital letters and numbers available in nine millimeters. Maximum sewing speed of a thousand stitches a minute. Don't get me wrong, we don't always need to use you know, the fastest sewing. You can, of course, slow it down. Sometimes if you are doing lots of chain piecing and you're, you're sewing maybe strips together, making strip sets, you can just do some nice quick sewing. 91, variable need, needle positions. This also comes with a huge array. Oh, wow, 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 we were. It comes with a five year warranty from Elna. And oh, she made a transition. So, um, just so you know, normally with Elna, you get a two-year warranty. The other Elna machines that we've got for you today come with a two-year warranty. This one is our baby. We absolutely love it. And Elna have let us extend that warranty, especially whilst we're doing this split pay. Even on split pay, you're getting that extra three years, which you would normally have to pay extra for. So, you do get a five-year warranty, uh, which is from Elna. It, they also, of course, have a great customer service team based in the UK. Your machine will come direct from Elna. So if you're purchasing any of Delphine's kits or any of the fabric from earlier on or anything from our website, it will come separately, just so you're aware. All under the same postage and packaging, though. One PMP of three ninety-five all day long. Now, as I said earlier, it comes with a huge array of feet and accessories. Let's have a bit of a, a look and talk through what it is that you get. So you get your standard A foot, your rolled hem foot, your zipper foot, your satin stitch foot, your open toe satin stitch foot, your blind hem foot, your overlock foot, quarter of an inch seam foot. And can you see that they're all um, lettered? They've got an A, a D, an E, an F, an F2, which is really handy because they're all, they all have that letter on the, the foot itself, uh, which of course will um, which will correspond with the letter that's on the screen, so you know which one to change to. Your closed, foot, closed toe darning foot, over toe darning foot, even feed foot, your automatic buttonhole foot, your stabiliser plates, your circular pivoting pin, your quilting uh, but a guide bar, your quilting guide bar for even feed, straight stitch needle plate, which is great for quilters, uh, five bobbins, 10 unit kit easy bobbin, seam ripper needle uh, set, all of those little things are standards, plus you also get different size spool holders, uh, you get screwdriver set, you get your stylus, your knee lifter, which is a great one, I know a lot of people love to sew with a knee lift, if you're used to sewing with a knee lift, um, this one does include one. You also have an extra wide extension table, so even though it already has a great sewing space anyway, if you're doing uh, any dressmaking, quilting, free motion, it's good to have you extension table on. Comes with a foot controller, can use it with or without, and with a semi-hard cover. Oh, in fact, um, I thought it was a, a second one as well. Oh no, you were just showing me both. 
I thought there was another um, another list of things then. So that's everything that comes as standard with the 680 plus. This five year warranty is only for what we have left. And I'm gonna say it, stocks are now low. Stocks are now low, especially with the split payment option as well. We're at 290 pounds, sorry, 219 pounds and 80 pence a month over five easy payments once a month how amazing is that you can get sewing you can get one of the the, the real i think this is this is not to entry level obviously it's over a thousand pound machine it's a a really really gorgeous machine and it's just one thousand sorry and uh, 99 £3.95 remember is your uh, posting packaging which is you start a pmp if you bought anything else today, then you've technically paid your posting packaging and you, you paid your PMP on your machine. So, have a serious think about it. If you've got any questions, I'm just trying to open my uh, my comments on here. I might need my technical helper cat to help me with this. Um, hi, Glennis. She loves the 680. Oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? You'll often see it on our show. You will often see it on the show. So, um, I'm just going to go back to the straight stitch um, before Delphine tells me off. She's got to use the machine later and I'll be playing with it, sorting out buttonholes and all sorts. If you've got any questions, let us know. Do let us know. Okay, let's stick with Elna. Also in the excellence range. You can see straight away, I mean, this is a big machine. This is a beast. It's absolutely huge. Now, personally, this is a machine, I would say, for somebody who has got a dedicated sewing space. Um, it's a weighty machine. It's robust. It's solid. It really, really is. It's got incredible uh, features and functions once again. Lots of similarities to the 680 Plus with some extras. So straight away, you'll notice the sewing space is even larger and you've got that touchscreen panel, which is again, even larger than the 680. So this has got a two year warranty. It comes from Elna and you can get it today with the split pay option of £399.80 over five easy payments. So £399.80 you can get this home today. You can get it home. Your first payment will come out today. Your second payment will come out. What are these? Cakes. Cakes. I've got more. Oh, oh, I was going to have more. Who's made these? Uh, they come from Alice and Marion as a thank you. Marion? Alison Marion. Oh, oh, hello, Paul. Oh. <laughs> so, Alison Marion, thank you so, so much for the cakes. They look absolutely amazing. Oh, thank you, Alison Marion. She's in the Isles of Scilly at the moment, and it's her last day there today. So, I hope it means that we'll get to see you soon. I know that she's been. A bit poorly, so um, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to having you back fit and well. Right, so, 780 machine. I'm going to eat this. Uh, the technical features of the 780, 350 stitches. It's, again, got the same stitch width as the 680, so it can go up to 9 millimetres, which is brilliant, isn't it? Um, you're going to be able to go up to 9 millimetres when you're doing any of your alphabets or any of your monogramming. Uh, you can also see that the maximum, uh, sorry, the uh, blah, 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 blah. the maximum stitch length is, is five millimetres. It's got 11 buttonholes, it's got a variable zigzag with a knee lifter control. It's also got tapering function. It's got a ruler work mode. It's got two additional alphabets, which are Russian and Japanese. I mean, that's amazing. Uh, capital letters and numbers up to nine millimeters. Maximum sewing speed of 1,060 stitches per minute, 91 variable uh, needle positions. You might have an overriding, uh, what, how do I say this? So if you've got a stitch that you love and you have altered the stitch width and stitch length to the defaulted one on the machine, you can save it. So it has an option, it's got a really great memory on this machine. The 680 still does, but you've got uh, a great memory on this to be able to, to customise and save your own stitches into the settings. It also comes, and this is a game changer, 
It comes with Stitch Composer. Haven't got it here for some reason. Stitch Composer is an amazing DVD that you can start creating your own stitches. It's got a USB port on the side of the machine and you can save them onto the machine itself. So you can see here, it's incredibly well lit. Um, I always, I don't know why, oh, oh there it is. It's literally just lifting the lid. I always get nervous about it. Because look at this, your stitch chart. You have got even more stitches on this one. Uh, you've got a huge array of utility stitches, buttonholes, applique heirloom, quilted stitches, satin stitches, decorative stitches, long stitches, pictorial stitches, play stitches, you've got home, love, sweet stitch, handmade, cafe. This is the real elite from Elna, it absolutely is. Comes with a great array of alphabets. It also comes with your professional grade needle plate. Also comes with a straight stitch needle plate, but it comes with that high performance needle plate. So if you're doing piecing, if you are just doing straight stitching, then it will not skip any stitches, it will not chew down into the, 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 uh, the bed, it will absolutely just, oh, so like a dream, so like a dream. So, let's have a look at this one. This is the high performance features, include the professional grade quarter of an inch seam foot, which is a high performance one. It comes with dual feed plus foot. So, it comes with a narrow, basically a narrower walking foot, so you can really see what you're doing. It it comes with a high professional grade, high performance needle plate and a straight stitch needle plate. I can show you the difference, I think, if I've got them here. Um, in fact, um, you get this lovely little sweetie box, I call it. You get all of the different feet. There's the, the narrow walking foot that I was talking about. It does also come with your standard, your big walking foot, but can you see that that... Um, Looks different, that's your big one. And that's your narrow walking foot. Oh, Alison Marion says, you're very welcome. We'll look forward to having those cakes in a bit. Thank you ever so much. Thank you, we love cake, we love cake. So, this is your, um, your straight stitch needle plate. You can identify it by the little circles in the centre here. So this one has got a circle in the centre and it's got two holes either side. I'm going to take the, um, the free arm off so I can get to the other needle plate for you. So if you want to take your, your needle plate out, it's really, really easy to do. It's got a free arm, a nice big free arm. Then there's a button under here. If you click that, it will flip out. It will tell you, warning, the needle plate has been taken out. It's really clever. It won't let you do anything you're not allowed to do. It won't let you start sewing now or anything. It will, it will let you know there's no needle plate. So, Paul, how can we show this? So, this one has got a gap, which is here, <laughs> which will allow the needle to swing from side to side for any of your pictorial stitches. It will tell you that you need to use this stitch plate. That's your normal stitch plate. This one is your straight stitch plate, which has got one hole in the centre and two little gaps either side. It will allow you to do your straight stitches, just your straight stitches. It won't let you do your satin stitches with it, but it will perfectly, it will stop fabric from feeding through. Whereas this one is for your quarter of an inch, you can see your needles over. It hasn't got any other holes here. So it is going to really give you that high performance straight stitch with your quarter of an inch. You can see, there you go. That hole here, you can identify it from the high performance, but you can see very clearly that this one's got just the one hole there. This one's got the hole through the center and you can move it to this side and you can move it to that side. And then you've also got this one, which will allow your needle to swing from side to side. It is the first time today that we're offering this machine at £399.80 per month. So it is five easy split payments. It's the most incredible machine that I understand might have been out of, uh, out of reach for a lot of people. So for, for us to be able to say you can get it, home in the next week within the next week you can be sewing on a machine of this level for as little as 400 pounds a month 399 pounds and 80 pence a month in fact um, remember if you go through onto the website 
You can pay for it all up front if you want, absolutely, but it's completely interest free. So you might as well, might as well spread that cost. I understand it's an expensive time of year, so and it's it's a high-end machine. But to be able to say, look, it's not going to cost you any more to be able to spread that cost over five months. It doesn't really make business sense for us, but um, because we're now part of Gemporia Group, we're able to do it, and we are so proud and so pleased that we are able to, to, to offer it to you with the split payment option. So you can get sewing, you can get making, you can get putting things on the Facebook fan page, and you'll enjoy it. I do find that before I upgraded my machine, I felt that mine really let me down. Um, and, and working with I mean, machines like this, it's just another league, isn't it? All of your uh, feet that come as standard, we can go through, in fact, actually. Um, have you got the list cat there? So, I mean, you've got your blind 10 foot there, you've got free motion feet, you've got zipper foot, uh, you've got your standard A foot, your old 10 foot, your zipper foot, your satin stitch foot, your open toe satin stitch foot, your blind 10 foot, your overlock foot, quarter of an inch seam foot, quarter of an inch seam foot without your quilting bar your closed toe dining foot, open toe dining foot, free motion kit really because you've got the open toe and closed toe. Uh, you've also got a zigzag foot for free motion. Oh, that's cool. I've not seen that before. Uh, variable zigzag foot, your ruler foot. So if you want to do some really beautiful ruler work, make it look like it's been a um, long arm quilted. I mean, they, that looks incredible. Your automatic buttonhole foot with stabilizer plate, your button sewing foot and your jewel feed foot with holder. Uh, so that's all your standard feet that come with the machine. Plus, you get an extension table, you get a cover, you get a knee lift, you get a two year warranty direct from Elna. So if you were thinking of really investing in, in the ultimate Elna machine, this is again part of the excellence range. And it's fantastic. Right, we've had a question about the 680. Please get your questions in, absolutely. Will it be restocked? It will always be restocked, absolutely. Problem is, is one, I don't know whether we're gonna be able to do it with a five year warranty when we restock it. And two, I don't know how long we have to wait to get it back in. Um, hopefully we can get it quite soon. But have you heard about all of the machine manufacturers that have been in such demand? We were looking on websites earlier on and there's so many that are just out of stock and um, on our website it's now saying it's limited stock which is worrying because I know we take a lot of Elmer's stock. So they're of course producing machines as quick as they can but there is huge demand at the moment for machines. So they're the Elmer's. Now, remember, split pay options. If, you're pay, if you've got uh, uh, any products in your basket that are over 150 pounds, so any of the, the dress forms, the electric scissors, uh, 150 pounds is over three months, or today, the 799, 799, any of the machines over 799, so any of your overlockers, uh, any of your you know, the larger machines, you can split it today over five months, which is brilliant. Okay, this is a different ball game now for a second. We're talking about the NX7. Mark Francis, I know he's uh, an ambassador for Juki and he's got this machine and he loves it. He says he hasn't even started to dive into the realm of, of, of how much capability the, this machine has. Now, what date are we today? The 10th? The 9th? We're the 9th. So Gary's due to be coming in on the 13th, isn't he? He's going to be here in the next few days. And of course, if you've got any questions about it, um, get them in for Gary. He's done really extensive demos with Rebecca Reed on this one, in fact, a couple of weeks ago. So it's worth having a watch of Gary from Juki talking about all of the different features and function of the machine. The next generation in Juki home sewing. And when I say Juki home sewing, lots of people will probably recognize Juki as being an industrial brand. They've brought out the most incredible range of domestic home sewing machines. Uh, and it, this is really, really setting that next standard. It's got a 12 inch sewing space. So you can see that you've got this huge, huge sewing space to be able to do any of your, your larger projects or your quilting. Uh, the one thing that always sort of baffled me with my machine and sewing was tension. I couldn't get the tension right when I was changing fabrics and working with different, you know, different types of fabric. This, if you've seen Gary using this, he doesn't alter anything because it has got that digital 
tension adjustment. It has got a digital tension. It's also got the Juki Smart Feed, which is basically a built-in walking foot. So the back of this, um, I can show you if I spin it round. If I spin this around, it's got a lovely free arm as well. So if you're doing any uh, bag making or dress making, it's so handy. So at the back of the machine here, you can see that this is a built-in walking foot. And you can start using this with any of your, your zipper foot on, for example, any of your other feet on. So it's brilliant to be able to know that you're getting that dual feed. If you're working with bulky layers or bag making, you want to put your zip on, you're not having to... to, to force fabric through your machine, which you never should anyway. You never should force it through the machine. Um, oh, let it do its job for you. So um, let's have a look at all of these stitches because as I say, Mark Francis, he was saying he hasn't even started to dive into all of the, the, the features and functions. So the interchangeable needle, um, single needle system, you have got the, the, the straight stitch needle plate. Can you go back to the other one? Sorry, Kat. Um, so also, the high performance functions you'll see on the stitch chart that a lot of these can be used with your high performance stitch uh, stitch plate. You've got a great selection of quilting stitches, a huge selection of applique stitches. Uh, you've got different alphabets. You've got some beautiful sort of scrolly alphabets as well, which I love. All different fonts. You've got like a um, what's this one called? That's a really famous font. I love that one. It's 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 like um I don't know. It's not script. It, it you know when you outline it again, it's like double lines. I can't think of the word. It's it's, it's escaped me. Um, but it's got a huge range. Almost like old English. You know when you do the double. You can see there. You can see what I mean. So it's got three hundred and fifty one stitches. And I know what Gary prides Duke on is the fact that these aren't machines that are all singing or dancing. I mean, I think that is a lot of stitches for a machine, but he says, no, we pride ourselves on the, the engineering, the body, the robust machine that it is. He's cut from a, a, an engineering background. So he absolutely loves the engineering side of it and the build of these machines and how robust and solid they are. So this is called the Kiri, um, which I've not heard before. So if you've seen this machine as the Kiri or the Kiri machine, it actually means beautiful. As a reflection of Juki's Japanese heritage with captivating beauty, the Kiri will bring high performance, reliability to all of your sewing quilting projects. Uh, beautiful form, beautiful function, beautiful stitches and beautiful sewing. It's got that really fast responsive touch screen as well and you can quickly and easily navigate through what stitches you want to use uh, and save them. One of my favourite features of this machine is the big foot pedal that comes with it. So it's a very fancy foot pedal as well because this you can change. You can program it to cut your thread. You can program it to do a locking stitch. So you can set your machine up however you use it most, however you want to use it. You can change it, you can alter it at any time, but you can set this part of your, uh, of your foot up to uh, lifting your, your presser foot or cutting your thread, which is fantastic. Now the sewing speed is 1,050 stitches per minute. Um, four alphabets and number fonts. Maximum zigzag width of seven millimeters, maximum stitch length of five millimeters, 20 buttonholes, adjustable foot pressure. It is a weighty machine. It is a weighty machine. Uh, so it is, I would say, designed for somebody who has got a dedicated sewing space. And you can see the dimensions of the machine there at the bottom. It comes with an extension table as well. Uh, and it also has um, the option of uh, the capability of using it with or without a foot pedal. Plus, it has a USB port. So if you want to start creating your own stitches, uh, you can absolutely transfer them onto this machine, which is brilliant. Technical features of this machine, you've got that colour touch panel, allows you to change settings such as thread tension, pressure foot pressure, pivot functions, drop feed system and automatic thread trimmings with one touch. Additionally, you may need to select 
combine and save your favorite stitches on an easy to use full lit screen of stitches. So you can see them all there on your screen. Easy to use, digital tension, needle thread system can be easily set with a touch panel screen to store in memory recall your favorite tension settings. So if you're working with something, uh, if you're doing maybe working with lots of upholstery fabrics or lots, lots of leather or velvet, um, you can adjust your tension. If you find one that's just perfect, you can save that tension setting as well. It comes with a large illuminated work workspace, plus you get your extension table as well. And it's also got the presser foot pivot function. Um, in fact, actually, the buttons on the front here, I don't know, I can't see them, but if you show me them, Paul, then I'll be able to talk you through um, what they are, but you've got those quick access buttons at the front here. So it looks like we've got your thread cutter, your needle up down, you press a foot up down, that's a game changer, isn't it? If you're spinning around and you don't want to keep reaching behind to lift, you have got also the uh, the little lever at the back as normal, but you can also use the button. It's got your speed control, your variable speed control, your locking stitch, reverse stitch. You've also got your start stop button, of course, which you can um, use with or without a foot pedal. It also comes, by the way, with 160 pounds worth of feet for free for free. How good is that? You may see this price elsewhere, but because of our relationship with lovely Gary and everybody at Juki, we're able to offer you £160 worth of feet. Amazing. Um, we've got some more technical features to show you. So the interchangeable straight stitch feed system, the buttonhole sensor system. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? I, honestly, I'm. Whenever I watch Gary, I'm literally in awe of. Uh, it's so fascinating. The machine itself. I always thought it was a bit complicated for me, but actually, if you watch back his show, he'll show you how easy this is to use. Um, it's got the automatic thread trimming option, which we all love. It's going to save time. It's going to save thread. Brilliant. So spend the time. I understand it's a considered purchase, but now with the split pay option, it's a game changer. Remember, if you go through on the website, you can click now or speak to the team. You can click your five pay split pay option, which will mean that you're paying five hundred and fifty nine pounds a month for five months, five easy payments. Same day, your payment will come out from the same direct debit, same card. If you've got any questions to get them in for Gary, we can absolutely pass them on to Gary on the 13th when he's here. He's literally here in a few days. So if you've got any questions that we can't answer here, we'll make sure that Gary answers them on air. Um, this is another uh, another reason that we were so excited about Split Pay because I understand it's, it is out of a lot of our budget to be able to, you know, say £2,795 in one payment, whereas actually more manageable over five months, £559 a month. We've had people checking out on this this morning, which is so exciting. I, I know that there was a lady who messaged in, I think it was Pauline, who put on the Facebook Live. Then she's got the NX7 and she's been so excited about it. Lots of people have been waiting for today to be able to get the split pay option. So now's the time to check out because it's limited. Hopefully Gary will be bringing us more, but I know he's launching a new Juki machine and a new Juki overlocker. So um, yeah, it's definitely the time to do it. Now, before we go over to Delphine, can I just show you a machine that's back in stock? We've got the 550. We have got the Alnut 550 back in stock. Split pay option over three months. You can get the amazing Alnut 550. Now, I'm so excited for any of my friends who have been saying, I really want to start sewing. I really want to, um, I've got a borrowed a neighbor's sewing machine over lockdown, or I borrowed my mum's sewing machine, and I want a computerized machine. This is a brilliant computerized machine. Don't get me wrong, I know a lot of people who have got the 680 who have this as a second machine because it still has, you know, that lovely robust feel, but it's portable. It's one that I will lift and put away if you're sewing on your dining table. Uh, if you need to put it away, then you absolutely can. It's got still some of our favorite features and functions from, uh, uh, from Elna, like using your start stop button, like using a speed control. You can use it uh, with or without a foot pedal. You can use the needle up down button, you can use your locking stitch, your reverse stitch. It's got plenty of stitches which are on the side here. So 50 stitches on your little stitch chart, including some buttonholes, some decorative, you've got some satin stitches, some lovely quilting stitches, plus your basic utility stitches as well. Really quick and easy to navigate through uh, all of those stitches 
with a click of a button. We were very, very excited. It's literally come back in stock this morning, which is perfect timing because today you can get this home for £166.33 a month. Over three months, it'll be paid for, it's done. You know, for Christmas, oh, how exciting is it? You can get all your Christmas prezzies made uh, and done and sorted on a professional Elna sewing machine. Yes, I know that you can pay £100, £200 for a machine. My advice, now this isn't Sewing Street, this is me, don't. Don't pay £100 or £200 for a machine because I've personally found that this is the most affordable one that we bring at the moment. This is the most, this is the only machine that we choose to bring you under 500 pounds. There's a reason for that. Because when we're bringing you all of Delphine's kits, we want you to finish them, complete them and enjoy them so you come back and buy more kits. If you're not getting the, the results that you want from the more, you know, cheaper machines, uh, then you won't come back to us. So we want you to start off on those machines that are going to last you the test of time, these machines that are going to grow with you as sewers. You can, if you then want to upgrade it for, um, you know, with a walking foot or with a free motion foot, it's still going to fit with a lot of the other Elna feet. Uh, so it's not like you're going to have to completely upgrade your, your feet when um, it comes with it. Ask yourself when you're shopping for a sewing machine, does it come with an extension table? This does. Does it come with a two-year warranty? This one does. Does it have the split pay option interest-free? This one does. Uh, does it have 50 stitches? I mean, you're still getting a, real, a great chance for it to grow with you. It's one of my favorites. In fact, it comes with a lot of feet anyway. It really does. It comes with a great array of feet as standard, but still, when you are ready to then upgrade, you can fit a walking foot on here. You can fit a free motion foot on here, which is fantastic. Uh, I know a lot of our guest designers use this machine. You'll have seen them using this over the last few weeks, but it's today back in stock. Split payment option of £166.33 over three months. Easy payments. Got any more pay? If you've got any more questions about split pay, speak to us, speak to the customer service team, message in on Facebook or, or, or email and we'll do our best to answer them. Uh, we've got Delphine coming up next. Congratulations. If you finally got the machine that you've always dreamt of today, I'm so excited for you and I can't wait to see all your sewing projects because you're going to just be addicted. It's going to be so exciting. Okay. We've got a lot of projects for you in the next hour. So if you've got your sewing machine and you fancy getting going with all your projects, then stay tuned because we've got instructions, we've got kits, and we've got Delphine. What more could you want? Don't go anywhere. I'm going to enjoy my cake. Where's it gone? I'm going to enjoy my cake. Thank you, Alison. And um, yes, I'll see you in just a few minutes. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street, and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual. Always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. 
Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Did you know that if you shop with Sewing Street, you're only going to pay one lot of postage all day? That's one payment of £3.95, no matter what you're buying. And you can check out as many times as you like without having to pay another delivery charge. So shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or you can order via our call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Oh my word, this is going to be manic. We have just been running around like headless chickens. So excited for this show. We've been wanting to do a show like this for so long. I certainly have. And it's just been impossible, if I'm honest, because everything has just kept... It's just been selling out constantly. So our team have been working really, really, really hard behind the scenes to try and prepare an hour. And I predict virtually everything will sell out in this hour. Um, we're already really, really limited on certain projects, which I'll tell you about as we go along. So let's get going, because we've got well less than an hour. What you will need for all of these projects before we go over to Delphine is Bonder Web. You're always going to need it, especially with Delphine Makes. This is absolutely brilliant. I'm, I'm even bypassing the smaller packet right now and just going for the whole hog. Let's get the whole roll. Five metres. Let's face it, we're all going to want to make everything, aren't we? We all want to make everything. Um, this is your whole five metre roll of your Visaline official Bonder Web. It's great for applique. Really easy to use and it will make your life a lot easier. Just £23.99. We'll talk about where you use it or when you'll use it. But if you're doing any of the Harley and Friends, if you're doing the Highland Cow, if you're doing the Eat Your Own Yard, if you're doing um, the, the, the deer, the, the stags, if you're doing any of these projects, you'll need some Bonder Web. So that's why we're advising getting the whole roll. Now, Kat's got one word of wisdom. Go onto the website and type in Delphine. Type in Delphine's name onto the search bar and you'll see all of these kits and you can grab what you want now. Don't wait for demos. Don't wait for us to bring in the graphics um, because I know they're going. Okay, type in Delphine. Now, let's start with the Highland Cow. We have to, don't we? Just look at these. Look at these cushions. 
I only need to breathe the word Highland Cow and you know exactly what project I'm talking about. I love these. And do you know what has been really good? The fact that we've got just the instructions because I've really loved seeing everybody else's take on it and using different fabrics. Delphine, this must just uh, always be so exciting yeah, when we get there. I designed it. I never thought it would be as popular. I was actually quite nervous about it. Gosh. Yeah, because I, I, I had the charm pack and I was like, oh, can I just come up with my own thing? And I remember sending the images to the Haley's, yeah. uh, thinking, what's the what's the verdict? And, uh, and it took a while for the um, text to come back. And it was a really, really hot day. Oh, I was, I was really <laughs> nervous, but I was so happy when they were like, oh, yes, I was re really, really chuffed with that. Really, really pleased. So, oh, they're both amazing. Yeah. So you get instructions for both, don't yeah, you? Yeah, instructions for both. And um, I, like, like you say, it's, it's so cool seeing other people's takes. And I saw one with Christmas the other day, and it had holly. And, and someone even changed the unicorn to a horse. Oh, yes, so I saw that. Yeah, love it. Good yeah. idea, really yeah. good idea. So let's have a quick look at the instructions. When was it, Kat, that we demoed this? Because it was only a couple of weeks ago, wasn't yeah. it? That, yeah, that again, a few weeks ago. The two of us were here. So um, this is one that we did back, I think in May, we launched it, completely sold out in May. Um, we managed to be able to, to bring them back literally a couple of weeks ago. So if you watch on YouTube, you'll be able to see it was the 12th of July. The 12th of July. Let me move these out the way a second so you can see your instructions. So, your Highland Cow, it comes with all fab instructions from Delphine. Great images, lovely text as well. You're cutting out instructions, anything that you'll need. Plus, you get your templates and your placement guide. So, you get all of those. Plus, you also have your unicorn instructions, all for $12.99. So, in the unicorn one, same as before, all of your pictures, your instructions, and you're getting all of your templates. The fan page I know is filling up with pictures of your makes. <laughs> yeah, love it. Uh, so that, that's the whole point. I, I, every time I come on, I always say that's what makes this really worthwhile. It really does make me smile when I see other people's interpretation of my design. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. It must be. Uh, the, uh, the one that Delphine made up, by the way, was using Tula Pink. But like you say, there's so many different fabrics you could use. Yeah, like you say, um, using your scraps. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, yeah, good idea. We were talking about using your scraps. Yeah. Christine, earlier on, absolutely perfect. Just so you know, if you do want these, you've got to check out now. We saw hundreds go in the first show in May hundreds uh, going it a couple of weeks ago and now we haven't got hundreds I think they're sold out they are gone brilliant I knew that the, I knew this is going to be a busy show let me move this over here so we don't get confused now let's go to eat your yard because this is one of the ones way back when actually wasn't yeah, it it feels like ages ago, ago. Yeah, it was, um, back ooh, back early summer I think yeah um yeah, it was back in the summer. You got the projects yeah. there, haven't you? Yeah. Do you want to? Oh, in fact, I think Paul's um, got photographs of them as well. Absolutely, yeah. So if uh, if you do purchase the instructions today, I don't know whether we've done the instructions on their own. No, no. First time we've done the instructions on their own. What skills are we using with these? So as you know, I like a bit of free motion, but you don't have to. You can just use. Um, obviously, it's just a plique, just gluing a bit of bondweb on a bit of fabric and sticking it on. <laughs> easy, easy. So with this, as you can see, I've done lots of little details. Again, you can have real fun with this. One thing I like about my designs is that, well, one thing I like about designing them for you, and I'm hoping that you like my designs, is that you can put your own take on it. Oh, and I, I, somebody, oh, if you, if I'd like to, if they're watching, I'd like to pull it on. They did a um, a little lady kneeling down. Oh, good. Uh, idea. Um, you know, you know, uh, looking after her allotments. That was really pretty. And you can put in extra vegetables, you can put in more people, more hills, but free motion quilting, a bit of um, applique, and just having a bit of fun with it. This is what, yeah. I, like I say, I love about your kits, is that if you literally do them step by step, as Delphine suggests, then you'll have amazing projects. If you choose to then use your own creative flair, you'll make something completely unique. And I love the, the, the way that Delphine allows us to do that. So you've got the cushion, yes. which um, you have, again, full instructions full for Full instructions, yep. Plus you get all of your templates, everything that you need. And they're to scale, you don't need to, up, you don't need nope, to resize all, them. All, all of mine to scale. The only thing is, like you say, on the Highland Cow one is to make sure that there's, it's a placement, guide, yeah. not a... Cutting guide. Yeah. yeah. 
Absolutely. So you do get the templates to size, but then you also have a bit of a placement guide, which That's I think right. is really handy, actually, yeah, to yeah, be able to get the picture. Yeah, there's lots of pieces to put down. Yeah. Uh, so you also get the apron as well, which is lovely, yeah. isn't it? So you have the apron, all of the instructions of how to do your applique, your free motion, whether it be for something you wear in the kitchen or for an avid gardener, maybe for someone in the garden. I love that you've also put the text on here. Yeah. So you, we can literally follow that. Follow that. And again, if you don't, I did, I did mine free motion. But again, if you don't want to use a free motion foot, you can just um, use a, um, a friction pen, trace over the top and hand stitch it. That would look really oh, nice. nice for some real thick, like a chain stitch. Oh, yeah. That would look really nice. Beautiful. So you get uh, your instructions for the apron plus the bag. Now, this is a really quick and easy make as well, Really isn't quick, it? yeah. Really quick. And also, even though I've done it with the vegetables on it, because I think, you know, when you go into Sainsbury's or Tesco's now, yeah. you can't use the plastic bags. Whereas yeah. you, you look quite you look quite posh putting your, uh, Absolutely. your loose veg in one of those. And also, it, it's handy to have in the kitchen if you just want to tidy things away, and they just look quite nice. But the actual bag pattern, um, I use loads, not just uh, for something like this, but uh, when I do, when the, the boys have um, friends' parties and things like that, I'll make one of the bags in a nice funky fabric and then I'll put like colouring books and pens oh, and give that as a idea. gift, which is much nicer to give a handmade. So, so if you did a load of these for Christmas and then just put in um, things for the kids like pens and colouring books or for a friend, I've done it with... Um, you know, some nice little bits and bobs for a bear. Yeah. Uh, you know, just like things like that, just make them into gifts. So it's, it's a pattern that you can use over and over again. Oh, I yeah. love them. Yeah. Uh, this is the first time we've ever done the instructions on their own. So obviously it's the, it's, it's the most affordable way of getting them. And we know you've always got a stash and scraps. And I suppose with this, you can really just use what scraps you've yeah, got, haven't yeah. you? And different colourways. I mean, this looks lovely, what Delphine's I love these doing. colours. This is using the panel, the Ditsy Bitsy. Oh, yeah. Ditsy Bitsy panel. And I just love all these uh, these, these colours. And like you say, it's just, uh, you can use anything. They don't have to be. It doesn't have to be an orange carrot. Mind you, you can have purple carrots, anyway. Can't yeah, you? you can. Um, Rainbow so, yeah, carrots. so I've, uh, I've already cut out these pieces and um, already done a little bit of free motion. I will do another bit of free motion in a bit, but I just want to show you how to quickly put this back together. Fab, because I know it is, like you say, quick and easy to do. So all the measurements are in the instructions. I can't remember off the top of my head, if I'm honest. Um, so you will put your fabrics right side together and lay that piece over the top there. Now what you would do is, uh, I don't know if you can see it on here, it's only a little fake mark. What you would do is mark off an inch gap, I can't remember if it's three or four inches down, and make sure you put a pin in that or a little mark to, so you're not going to sew over that bit. Okay. So I'm just going to go straight to the machine now. So you could whip out loads of these, you know, you could have all your Christmas presents done in an afternoon doing all of these. That's such a good idea, isn't it? I'm thinking, you know, if you know someone that, like, loves dancing and ballet it could be like a little ballet bag or a PE kit bag you can have them as like little swimming bags you can do all sorts oh what about a pajama bag pajama I've, done bag. A, I've done it as pajama bags before and also um you know Christmas Eve we always do a um a yeah, little do a box, Christmas Eve box, a Christmas Eve box yeah. yeah but if you did it we always have um pajamas and treats and toys and chocolates and stuff for the kids but if you made one of these and put the, the, the pajamas that they go to bed We're all coming to Del Thieves this Christmas. <laughs> Sounds amazing, doesn't it? Oh, I'll be in boxes, probably. So, oh, what, sorry? What is that? Oh, OK. Um, do you know, Kat? What's the, uh, the policy or uh, the angel policy? We've had Morag ask about making to sell. Oh, about uh, for my my kids. Yes. Yeah. Oh, fill your boots. Oh, oh. amazing. Oh. I felt a little bit like uh, where are we asking you then? No. Because I know you should. You do need to ask. Don't copy the pattern. Don't obviously. copy the pattern and have a bit of a nod to to oh Delphine's design. I don't mind that. You know, spread the Delphine love. But oh no, fill your boots. I don't mind. Amazing, yeah. amazing. It's like you say that you can. Um, you can then with your own fabrics put your own spin and make like you say the drawstring bag don't just see this as a bag to use for your vegetables by all means absolutely use those templates of the veg because that looks great doesn't it as yeah a, uh, you do get all three templates as well in here and also uh, you know one day when we can start doing craft shows and things like that again and uh, when you're making things for the school fair and things like that oh yeah make them yeah, yeah. 
Make them sell. Make a few quid from it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't mind. Okay, so I've just sewn all the way around the edges. I've left a little gap here. I'm just going to give that a little trim. And now I'm going in. I'm going to make a box bottom. So you'll open out your seams and line them all up. And again, you'll be making loads of these. Anyway, if you're using a, if you're using a, um, if you are new, don't worry about it getting absolutely spot on. And the more you make, the easier it is. And if you're using a patterned fabric, you won't notice. I'm using a darker thread. Yeah. Line them all up. Lisa's going to make the drawstring bag. Good idea. This is Cat's mum. Oh, she's she's hello, messaging. Cat's mum. Keeping all of the dog toys in. She's saying this is perfect Good. to keep all Rudy's toys in. You can make them as a nice peg bag as well. Forward and back at the end. Forward and back, yeah. So okay. make sure you do a locking stitch. I haven't, me I haven't measured that. Um, I've just done it by eye. It's but the measurements. In the, the measurements are all in the instructions, yeah. So Brilliant. I have done it with a darker thread so you can see. Uh, but yes, make sure you do a backing stitch on the beginning and the end to so make sure it doesn't come undone. And then just repeat the same on the other side. You don't need much fabric either, do you? And you can do them all different sizes. Can right, you? yeah. Um, you could also do use different fabrics. You can do, um, you know, cut the the pattern in half and do like one one side in a different fabric and then sew it together. And I've done that before. Well, I've used a really shiny, glittery fabric for the bottom half of the bag. I think oh, it was. Nice. In fact, it was for my um, my little um, my best friend's daughter Iris. I made something funny enough a ballet a ballet a ballet. Oh, bag. lovely! Oh, lots of lovely messages. Thank you for so all of your messages. Morning, Anne. Lovely show as always from Glenis. Morag's watching. J uh, Valerie's watching. Leslie, Kay, Chris, Sally, Pauline. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. I know. It doesn't feel like a Friday today. I don't know why. Although I'm not here to... I don't even know when I'm here next. Kat, would you let me know? Kat, Kat knows my diary better than me. When am I here? John's in tomorrow. Debbie Shaw's on Sunday. Then it's Rebecca Reed. Then it's John. John. So I'm not here till the 15th now. So, um, yeah, it should feel like Friday. Oh, 15th. I'm the chosen one, aren't I? Split pay and the website launch. Touch wood, touch wood that all technical things happen. Um, yeah, 15th, we're launching our new website. It's exciting, isn't it? It's been a busy week, hasn't it? <laughs> it has. So I've uh, trimmed off those bottoms. And you know those two little gaps that I left at the side here? Fold over the top of your bag so they go just below that little hole. Okay. Uh, where is it? There. So probably about, I'll come out again, it's about, it's about half an inch I think. Just make sure they're over the top. Now what you'll do, I am using a dark thread today only so you can see that, but obviously you'd use a um, matching thread. I'm just going to take that off. And what you'll do is top stitch along the top here. Well, I'm just going to go and do that. Start on the ends. Make sure you do a little locking stitch or back stitch. So I've just taken this off because it's easier to um, spin it round. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? What, what? what have I done to your foot? What's my foot doing? There we go. So ideally you'd give it a press before you do it, just so it's nice and neat. I'm excited for everybody who's bought this machine today, because there's so many people who have taken advantage of the split pay option, and are probably thinking, right, I want to have a go at lots of projects. And I, if you're anything like me, I like to finish projects. So projects like yours, Delphine, are fab, because they're really achievable, they're quick and easy, they still look I think really impressive when you show people, but actually they're ones that you can do in an afternoon. Yeah. Uh, it, it is brilliant to be able to have a real good play on your new machine. Definitely make the most of these kits. And they're affordable too, $17.99, and you're getting all three pattern instructions. So I'll just turn it the right way out. There's your bag. Oh, nice. And then there's your little... Um, your, gap your, your, your gaps your So, I mean, we had some cord on yesterday, but I suppose you could use ribbon. Yeah, or you could use ribbon. So, uh, probably, um, yeah, I'd use a ribbon or use a cord. And what you'll do then, I would top stitch again there, just to stop, if you're using a cord, stop it from uh, going all wiggly inside. Okay. I, I won't open this, but the um, if you are using the ribbon, what I would do is 
measure it out, go once, twice, three times of the length and do that twice. And then you'd feed it in, I'll just put the ribbon on the end of a safety pin, feed it all the way through, all the way around to one side, then again to the other, tie it off, drawstring bag. Gosh. There you go. Really quick. It's really quick, isn't it? I love it, absolutely. And it's up to you, like you say, how much you want to personalise. You've got loads of templates that come from your... So you could do a garden shed on one, or yeah. you could do an allotment. You can really play around with the yeah. different templates that you're I building like, up. I, like, I love their designs because it's good for, like you say, good for gardening. So if you yeah. have any uh, people out there, their friends and family who are into their gardening, it's a nice Christmas present. Absolutely, absolutely. I've got loads of friends and family into gardening. That's perfect for them. So that's your Eat Your Yard. Just to remind you, this is the first time that we've had the instructions solely on their own. £17.99 for all three sets. I'll keep you updated on stock. Don't forget to grab your Bonder web as well. Let's do, I'm going to go way back when again and have a look at the applique caravan and mum and me bird which you've probably seen lots on our set because whenever we're set dressing we always have a look through different samples of what we want to put on and these always always get picked because they're so beautiful aren't they uh, i think you used tilda with this didn't you the charm yeah. packs um if you got any tilda yesterday we did some great discounts yesterday on tilda and those people people took advantage uh, took advantage of it but if you've got any other small off-cut pieces we were talking about using scraps look at some some of these pieces are really small even like the the beaks or the feathers the the little caravan can Camper van um, curtains. You have a camper van, don't you? I've got or a caravan. You've got a caravan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at me, van. Oh, it's it's brilliant, isn't it? I do love, love, love this design. There's the cushion, uh, but you do also get the little mum and me birds as well. Now this morning they've already been selling very quickly, so just be aware they are extremely limited now. If you do want to make the most of your instructions and templates. £12.99 for the two of these. you got a little uh, demo half set up as well, haven't yeah, you, Boris? Yeah. Bab, thank you. So, because um, I, I saw there was a lady, Jane Brooks said um, that she really wanted to see this pattern. So oh, she has messages to say, she's excited to see it. So hello, Jane. Um, so again, I've used that lovely ditzy bitsy panel um, just to uh, put a couple of the birds on here. Now what you would do, um, there is in the instructions in the pattern, you do have the little branches here. This is just a guide. You don't have to do it the way uh, like this. You can do it your own little way. And what you would do is put your fabric underneath using the light box or using the window. Ideally a light box because you'll be able to trace it a lot easier. Trace over the line with a friction pen or just a light pencil and you'd free motion over the top. Now I think on that one I blanket stitch I believe around yeah, all the pieces. Yeah it looks like blanket stitch yes. Whereas I think uh, I can't come on and not do a bit of free motion. You know, I like a bit of free yeah. motion. So we'll have a little bit of that. And also um, there was a lady, uh, Rosemary, who was uh, asking questions about free motion the other day and saying that she couldn't do it. Make sure you've got the right foot because if you haven't got the, not all machines come with the feet, do they? No, so no. Make sure you've got a darning foot or a, or a proper free motion foot, which, you should, which looks like this. Now, I'm going to ask you a question that's been yeah. bugging me. The difference between like a hopping one or a normal one, it's, can you use either you of them? I, I, I'm, to the, my honest que answer, I don't know. Yeah, I have fine. one with a spring. Spring, yeah. So, but I think it depends on your machine. Ah, okay. And usually it is, you do have to keep your feed dogs down. Yeah. Um, I don't design sewing machines, but all the sewing machines that I've used, it's always feed dogs down, yeah. keep the seat as speed consistent, then hopefully you shouldn't have any problems. Okay, brilliant. So I'll quickly change the foot. Oh, I don't know my own strength when I put that back on. <laughs> Uh, just so you know, in the instructions, uh, the instructions as well. I know that you do. Let me um, show you. You also get your French knot demo because it's a beautiful texture cushion with French knots and some embroidery. Yeah. So um, Joyce does a little diagram, three easy steps of how to create those French knots, which are beautiful, really, really beautiful. And it's up to you. It's really good to, to show you options of, of of stitching, whether you do do the blanket stitch round or a satin stitch or. Uh, if you want to do hand stitching or whether you want to do free motion, which is your favourite. I love a bit of free motion. I like drawing, so yeah. drawing and sewing together. So is again, have you bond web? I've used a bit of bond web. Okay. Bond web everything. I'd bond web everything. <laughs> if it was uh, anything loose, I'd put some bond web on it and stick it down. On the website. So, uh, yeah, so what I want to do, you can, on the, on, like I said, on that one, I did a uh, blanket stitch. This one, we're just going to go round the outside. And I'm going to put a few details and maybe some twigs in as well. So off we go. So I've already got the machine ready. 
Um, so, so you've just dropped your feed dogs and changed your foot? Yeah. We did a full demo on this on the 10th of June, if you do want to watch wow, the show. Wow, was it that long ago? I'll be back. Can you believe it? I just don't know where she's gone. So they're now at home for already. I know, it's scary, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So a little, so keeping this speed nice and consistent. Let's have a few details on the wings. There we go. Give it a smile. Oh. <laughs> and actually, do you know what I found that it's actually a little quicker? It's a lot easier to go quicker. You look yes. like you're going really quick, but I yeah. find if you're slower, then I'm not as consistent with my stitch length because you're creating your stitch length, aren't you? That's right. You're in control, not the machine. Um, but if you um, if you go too slow, it will. It, it, you could end up breaking the stitches if you get because if you're moving, you need to be really consistent, and you're not pulling and pushing; you're just gliding it okay. around. Uh, so yeah, nice foot to the floor, be fast. It's a nice small project to practice with free motion as well, instead of starting, you know, doing big, big quilt or cushion. Especially as you're not using an awful lot of fabric. Um, yeah. You know, these are just little offcuts, aren't they? They're not. Um, so it doesn't matter if you go wrong. Let's give it a couple of. There you go. I've given I just like the more doodled look yeah. anyway. It doesn't need to be perfect. So I've just but, done a little one. I've given it little feet. Look. Oh. Got a couple of little tootsies there. Look. Oh, cute. I love that. So let's do let's do the do mama bird now. Is that the itsy bitsy one as well? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a nice panel. It's on the website, itsy bitsy. It's one of our exclusive panels, actually. It's lovely. It's really lovely. Really pretty. You look a lot more relaxed than I do when I do it. You're I've seen down, you do this tense. though. No, but I look tense. I'm like, oh, I always ache afterwards. We've got that, that video of you doing it. Oh yeah, you the do. nostrils on the cow. <laughs> Go down to the tail. Are you stitching always on the fabric? You're trying to stitch on and all. Are you all right yeah. to go off and off I, the other I do a bit of both. Yeah. It doesn't. It, like you say, I think it looks nice. Go when you does when you are going off the lines. Like you say, that doodle look for free motion is lovely, isn't it? And using a dark thread, actually, you're using a, a black thread on there, I think you used to presume, aren't you? But it does give it that really sort of standout finish, doesn't it? Yeah, I've just used, um, I, think it's, I think I've got brown in here, actually. Yeah. I'm just going to give it an eye. Half the stock gone, and I mean completely gone. If you've got it in your basket, please be careful because I'm um, limited on this one now. Your happy camping cushion and your mum and me bird cushion. Step-by-step -step instructions, plus you're getting all your templates that you need. And remember, you can watch the demo on YouTube and you can today show that. It's just good to be able to do these pit stops across all of these uh, very, very popular patterns. Sorry, I'm being rather noisy over here, aren't I? Do you know what, actually, to say how quick you're going, it's actually relatively quiet. It isn't as loud as you would presume to say how speedy, speedy you're going. You're on full speed ahead. I am. I'm foot to the floor at the moment. Excuse me. And you are right next to your microphone as well. <laughs> with the um, free motion that you would need to put your extension table on but actually the bed space on that machine is really good isn't it that you don't even need you oh, so just, it's a, just a small um, it's only a small piece but if yeah. you're doing a bigger piece yeah and then what all I would do with that then just having it a, 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 something like this is just do a couple of French knots or even a, be really twee and put a couple of little buttons oh yeah and then make that into a little cushion or put that on or use that as a little pajama bag with Absolutely. that bag pattern that we did 
Um, oh, good idea. Yeah. You could even do some, uh, even put it in like an embroidery hoop and just have it on the wall, couldn't you? And yeah, do some lazy could. daisies on the yeah, twigs. That looked lovely in a little hoop, and you could do a whole little family of them, or you could do a big, almost like a big uh, panel, like a wall hang, and have yeah. loads of them in all different colours. Oh, I love that. I go. absolutely love it. Thank you. It's nice to see you free motion. Um, so, just so you know, both instruction sets. Have we done these on their own before? I don't know if we have. I think that we were in kits with um, Tilda charm packs last time, if I remember rightly. £12.99, you get the instructions and you get your templates um, for just £12.99. And you make your cushion which is, there you go, your happy camper. I love the bunting on that as well. It's adorable, isn't it? Happy camper. And you also get your mum and me bird. Look, you've got four little birdies on there, but it's up to you. Like Delphine said, you can do a whole family. So, Harley and Friends, let's jump to that because we saw the Highland Cow sell out. Now, Delphine, I know that you said to me, if we sell out of the Highland, uh, the Highland Cow, which we presumed we would, then we're probably best to talk about Harley and Friends because this is, I mean, this is an amazing booklet. It's one that you could use again and again and again. And I presume you will use this again and again and again. Yes, definitely. So this is the Highland Cow, but sort of taken to that next, next step. It's next level Highland Cow. There yeah. it is. Oh, so this is your quilt pattern instruction. Now, I know that this is um, a bit of a, a family affair. Your son's helped you with this one, Louie and Charlie. <laughs> yeah, they did, yeah. They've, so they've all got names. I think okay. I've got a key of their names on that page. So instead of just doing Cal 1, Cal 2, Cal 3, Cal yeah. 4, you've got Howard, Ma Hank, Harley and Holt. And I love the fact they're all personalised. So can you see they've got the headphones on. This one's a real cool dude, isn't he, with his uh, mohawk oh, and his him. goatee. Hank's you, my favourite. Hank's your favourite. <laughs> I've seen even somebody doing like a nose ring on that one as well before. You can real personalise, play around them. Harley, obviously we absolutely love from the Highland Cow with the with the daisy in his mouth. And look, he's, he's the lovebird. And then you've also got Holt, who's ready for the office in his shirt and tie. So I love the fact that we've really sort of personalised them. Rather than number, we give them all names. Each step-by-step -step instruction is so clear and so thorough. I'm not putting down other instructions, but I don't think I've seen instructions as thorough as Delphine's. These are gorgeous, glossy instructions that are literally taking you through by step five, step six, step seven, really clearly with not too many words. You know, sometimes when you look at instructions, it's just words and words and words, and it's a bit baffling. And um, really to the point, uh, with your with your definite in, in instructions and measurements, uh, and lovely photographs to go with it. So. Um, I don't know how much time we have because we are running out of time, but this was demonstrated. We'll find out the date that it was demonstrated. This is again your placement guide and then you get all of your templates. Mm -hmm. So at the moment you've got this Highland Cow look, haven't you? Very similar yeah. to it. So if you missed out on the Highland Cow, get this. Just get this one. Yeah. Okay. And, and then, uh, like you say, you're getting all those extra templates to do the sunglasses, the the shirt, if you can put them all on there. You know when you were saying on the other show about doing a plique onto clothing? Oh yeah. I think Hank on the back of a denim jacket, you'll be so cool. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Good idea, good yeah. idea. There you go, you can see Hank is the one, the cool dude with his sunshades on. Love him, love him, love him. Uh, £9.99 and it is going to be uh, one that you use again and again. This was demonstrated, oh we're still trying to find out. Over to you okay. then Delphine. So yeah, so with the um, the Highland Cow, so I think we, like, so we've done the um, demo a couple of times. I think. So yeah. I think I've. Uh, I don't think you need to see me to do it to do it again, but yeah, just have a bit of, have a bit of fun with it, and I quite like someone to see the do a bit of uh, tripunto or something like that. That would look really cool. So that's where you put like a filling and, and between it makes it all sort of lofty. Yeah. And puffy, so you'd isn't use it? a real thick uh, wadding, uh, put that underneath. They would sew round the edges. And then you'll trim it all away, and then so then uh, quilt on a th on a on a thinner piece of wadding, and that will make it stand out. Oh, that that's a really good idea. Cool. But yeah, so I've seen some really nice um, different uh, people's interpretations of the cow. So. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, it is brilliant. It is brilliant. If you want to um, watch it back on YouTube, we're finding the date for you, so you can do it. But you will need your bond web. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think of other things. This one has got a binding. It was a bagged out technique. Is that right? Yeah. So the bag bagged. Oh, did I quilt that one? Or, or did you? Quilt? Oh, I bagged out the stag's head quilt. Right. Oh no. In fact, actually, 
Does this look like we've got um, binding demo as well on here? Yeah, yeah there's binding, binding demo. So th th that's a really thorough set of instructions. Well, I, I, well, I think they are because again, oh, absolutely I write is. them the way how I would like to be taught. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, lots of pictures. I'm a visual learner, so and a description about everything from the quilting it to the binding it to how you uh, place all the different pieces, not just with a Harley, but also for Hank and Holt and Howard. So it gives you all the placement. I'm struggling to find it on YouTube. It's on there. So type in Harley and Friends, Sewing Street page with Delphine, and hopefully you'll be able to find it. Or if anybody knows, drop it down on the uh, Facebook page. Um, but what I was going to say is if you did miss out on the Highland Cow and you really wanted it, Get this, get this, because you've got those extras as well in there as well. And that's to make this, which is a great size quilt. <laughs> if you missed out on the other one. <laughs> the finished size is 55 by 47. Can you tell that didn't come from me? I'm not claiming that that's as my ball, awful joke. It? Yeah. <laughs> It's bad, isn't it? It's really bad. Um, right, we've got loads of people checking out on Harley and Friends. We've got to move on. Move on. Oh, it's all coming out now. Look. <laughs> He's got a day off tomorrow. Oh, my word. I love him. He's been busy this week. <laughs> He has been busy. Oh, don't tell him that. Don't say he's been busy. Right, let's do stag's head because I saw right. somebody put on Facebook earlier on. How do I get the stag's heads? So the one that's behind you yeah. is the main quilt, which is yes. the red one, this one. So, oh, I love this. You get the wall hanging one, I think is different, isn't it? Slightly different panel. This is your Christmas one. Again, this has been a very popular yeah. kit, hasn't it? I just, it, uh, it'd be quite nice, as someone said uh, last time we were on, they weren't doing the Christmas ones, but keep this, because the inside is obviously tartan, so that's all year round, isn't it? So you could use it for an all year round project as well, not just, not just for Christmas. So you get your stag's head, and then you get all of your Christmas fabrics as well. This is an exclusive pre-printed panel for us. 19.99, you get your panel, Plus, you also get your bubble templates. So you get all your bubble templates. And I know that you raided the uh, the, the jewellery maker website and got yes. you could get little shavoskis or beads, you yep. get sequins and decorate them, can't you? Yeah. I like, it. I like a bit of an embellishment. I like a bit of bling. bling. Yeah, I like a bit of bling. You can Absolutely. also use Christmas. blingy thread as well. <gasmm> oh, yeah. Ooh, the like the ones behind thread. you, the metallic thread. I use oh, those I quite a lot in uh, my sewing as well. Absolutely, they look yeah. beautiful, they really, really do. So, is this something that is relatively easy? Because it easy. looks really no. effective. Easy, easy, easy peasy. So, all I've done, um, you use the bond web, trace over your, stent, your, or over your templates, which um, they do come in three different sizes. So, okay. you have your 100%, your 50%, and 75%, I think. So, yeah, 175, 50. Mixing it up, always mix up shapes and yeah. colours just to make it more interesting if it was all the same shape and the same colour it'll be boring so mix it up have fun. randomly random don't okay. think too much about oh, it okay just, and then all I've done is stuck them all on uh, using um, the iron and then you just do a straight stitch from the top uh, and uh, to your bauble you can then uh, blanket stitch around them uh, you can free motion like I have the one um, on the wall you can do oh yeah, I love the free motion quilting. Can we show that? There it is. Look, oh that looks gorgeous. There's, there's loads of different ways to quilt it. Again, we could, you could put a bit of extra wadding underneath the, um, the baubles or the, stag. or the stag. Yeah, really make it uh, pop out. Now to do the to quilt this, this is the one I've made earlier. So let me just. What are you looking for in there? <laughs> I'm going in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is why I love our fans. Uh, thank you very much. 12th of July was Harley and Friends. Well done. Who was that? Oh, Roz, we love that. you. Thank you ever so much, Roz. That's brilliant. So what I would do, imagine I've put a sheet already on top, the backing fabric, mm -hmm. to bag it out, leave a gap at the bottom, because nobody looks at the bottom, so just leave a gap there. Start in here, so all the way around the edges with about, I'd say about a half an inch. You'd flip it the right way out, which is like, um, sorry, You'd trim the corners first, flip it the other way out, give it a press, and then top stitch this closed all the way around, and then I'd quilt it. So that's nice. your bagging out method. Oh, okay, brilliant. Yeah. Which means you don't need to bind it. You don't need to bind it, no. Um, so when you top stitch it all the way around. Can you do that with a cushion as well? Yep. Oh, that's good to know. What I've made earlier, there we are. Oh, nice. So what I've done here, I don't know if you can pick it up, but that's exactly what I did here. Bagged it out the same as you would a cushion, 
top stitch all the way around and it gives you that fake binding look. <gasps> like a scrappy binding Like a scrappy well. binding and it feel, feels like you've used bias binding but you haven't, you've just done. Um... Alison's asked, did you edge stitch the baubles? Uh, yes, if you're going to be using it as a cushion, definitely. Okay. If you're going to be as a wall hanging, not so much, but if it's going to be a cushion, you're going to be using it a lot, so definitely, definitely secure it stitch down. Stitch it yeah. down. Yeah. Maybe you could use a blanket stitch or a satin stitch. Satin or, stitch, yeah. yeah. I love a blanket stitch, is my favourite. Yes. Um, and m most machines don't have them, so if you haven't got that, then a zigzag stitch. Okay. All machines have a zigzag stitch. Your 680 does. Your 680's got a blanket stitch. It's got, it's a got lot everything. Of <gasps> it's got lots <laughs> of stitches. So the cushion one, that's a different panel, isn't it? Can we yes. show you the um, the cushion? So the cushion in red, which is the one that you're looking at now, yep. you get... So do you get... Oh, oh, no, hang on. No, wrong one. This one. Oh, I'm creating such a mess. Sorry. Uh, so we've got your stags plus... You're getting, I don't know whether I can, Paul. It's a bit messy. There you go. So there's your stags. And then you also get, <laughs> then you also get all of your fabrics. Plus, you have your templates. Same as before. You've got some that you say at 50%, some at 75%, and some at full size, yeah. 100%. So that's really good mm -hmm. to be able to mix and match. And you know, I love that they're all really beautiful, ornate shape bubbles. I mean, we could all just, you know, do the circle bubbles, but actually, these ones. That's my favourite one, that one. That one and the one next love to it. I love that. Yeah. I love that one. one. And that one, yes. Love those two. £14.99. Oh, could you see that then? There you go. This one and this one are our favourites. I know it looks bright. You'll see them really clearly at home. Now, we also have it in purple. We love these because they're Christmassy and obviously still time to make for Christmas. We're in 9th of October now, so plenty of time. And it's still a nice quick quilt, if you know yeah, what I mean, really isn't quick it? quick and really effective, put it, over a, put it over an armchair or have it up on the wall. Yeah, this would or be I'd put an extra uh, bit of fabric around the outside and make it in a um, tablecloth. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good idea. You know, just if you've got a little co coffee table as well, yeah. it's quite nice to put over the top. Um, so the purple options that I've got, I'm just going to put these on the shelf, darn it. Uh, we've got the purples. This is, again, Christmassy. It's got really pretty little um, baubles, uh, gingerbread bread men. So you've got the purple stags. But as Alphine said, I mean... You don't need to do this as Christmassy, do you? You could just do your stag and you yeah. can... Yeah, you could just literally just up. have the stags like that. Yeah. Just cut them out, put a, a backing on, envelope or a zip, a little bit of a binding. Yeah. Put a cushion in it. There and they're really, really trendy, quick project, aren't they? Really trendy. Really trendy. And then on the other side, you can see you've got all of your different prints, which are coordinating. You've got your little prezzies. We've got mistletoe. We've got holly. Gingerbread men. Love them, love them, love them. And then the wall hanging next. We'll just run the graphics through so you can see before we on. Oh, where's the time from today? Uh, the templates, that's my word. Uh, templates plus you get all of your fabrics. Here you can see gingerbread houses, little prezzies, holly, lovely little patterns, different colours as well, aren't they? Really fun colours. Quite often I'll, uh, I'll go to the garden centre around Christmas time and you see all the different displays and all the different colours and sometimes I'm not that I'm not daring enough to think oh do you know what I'm going to go for these different colours but when it's £19.99 it's something that do you ever get excited when you get done the decorations and you think oh I forgot I did that I forgot I got that I forgot I made that it'd be a lovely gift for somebody wouldn't it and then on obviously on the reverse you've got then your large stag for on the front of your quilt plus you still get all your lovely baubles get yourself some Gutemann metallic threads on the website mm. if you're checking out Remember, it's only one PMP. Have a look on the jewellery maker side as well because it's only one PMP with them as well. So get yourself some little seed beads or little Swarovski beads. They'd be beautiful. They've got some, uh, I think they've still got some good birthday deals on as well from Gemporia. Their Swarovski deals are always really, really good. And um, it's on our same posting packaging. So let's stay with Christmas as um, we love Christmas. Shall we do the flying geese quilt? I've not seen this and I love it. Traditional greens, reds, golds, working with a lovely panel, again exclusive to us, £49.99. Inside you get your instructions. Oh, let me lean over, sorry, one second. Uh, your instructions, uh, which 
is a flying geese unit, isn't it? Yeah. Do I need a specific flying geese ruler to there, do this? There is a ruler to do it. I, for, I forgot mine. It's in the green room. Is it this? <laughs> yes. Yes. There That's the one. That's the one. Um, so, yes. So, the fly... I love this ruler. It's absolutely fab. I've used it a few times, actually. So, to cut out your triangles, you can do it two ways. You can use the ruler. Let me just see. I haven't got the... Um, Okay, yeah, so you've got two sides. You've got your 90% corner, which is uh, this corner here. And this, you've also got your, um, the strips, that all the numbers of what size your finish uh, triangle, your flying geese will, will be. So you just choose, I think on that one, that one is a four and a half inch uh, strip. Uh, so you would cut on both sides. That's gonna make your perfect triangle. So for this one, uh, I recommend if you can get one of these because what I've done, I don't know if you can see where is the quilt. Um, um, they go down in size, so it's, so it's really easy. There it is. Yeah, so they all go down in size. So one of these oh, rulers yes. makes it really easy. You haven't got to keep measuring. It just does it all for you. So oh, good idea. Really, really quick. Um, so then you would get. Well, then on the other side of the the ruler is your forty five percent. 45 degree angle and this is what you'll use to cut the half the half triangles right okay and so once you've done uh, cut out all of your pieces you would top stitch sorry you'll sew right sides together uh, like so you'd sew along that line you'll flip it back and then you'll do and then you'll do the other side and what that will do that will make your flying geese you'll make them all uh, all in the instructions, all in different sizes, and eventually you'll sew them all together, oh, nice. and it will look like that. That's so beautiful. without the two borders, so without the two borders there. So all it is, it's in the instructions. You'll get a big strip of fabric. You'll sew along all of the um, triangles, flip it back, and then you've got your block. You'll make four of these, and you've also got your little star block as well in the middle. So, so in your instructions, you talk about this using the flying geese creative grid yep. ruler don't you so absolutely that will really help and I think it's gonna be one of those rulers that you actually use again and again use loads, the yeah. flying geese units are really popular and once you know how to do them and quickly and efficiently and accurately they look really really beautiful in these colorways so you get your panel um, which is gorgeous lovely traditional uh, so you've got your panel you've then also got Love these. They're beautiful, aren't they? These stars at night fabric. So you have green, navy, and red. All half meter pre-cuts ready to go. So you have your panel and two meters of fabric. No, a meter and a half it will be. I think a meter and a half. Oh, in fact, actually green, you get a meter of it. Why is that? What do you, what do you need the green for? I did the original one in more, it had more green in it. Oh, okay. So um, <laughs> this is the other one. There you, go. there you go. Oh yeah, you can see. So you get a metre of green, half a metre of blue and half a metre of red. Um, plus then your panel with all four different scenes, Christmas scenes as well, which is lovely. Yeah. And then, uh, so yeah, you, you'll do, all you'll do to piece together, cut the panel with the four squares and the triangles, your flying geese that you've sewn, you will just sew right sides together and then you'll sew your star block uh, right sides together to the two pieces and then you'll have the other one at the, the bottom with your uh, to make up the full quilt so it's really it's really big it's, it's big but it's easy to put together it's quite, quite quick nice. yeah using panels is a yeah. great way to get quite a quick quilt isn't it and I, again I, I can see like a nice um, tablecloth with a, mm. a centerpiece here Ooh, on yeah. the star yeah beautiful absolutely beautiful do you know when that was demonstrated not cat I'm talking to um, I'm talking to Ros Ros knows all the dates Cat doesn't know the dates of them, so Ros, will you let me know when that was demonstrated? Or Cat, if you whoever whoever finds it first. Um, was it Christmas in July that you did that? It, yes, I think it was actually. Or Christmas in August. It was one of them. Or Christmas in September. It was Christmas in the summer. <laughs> yeah. um, what was that? Sorry, Cat's got less dates than Paul. <laughs> what was that? Oh yeah. Let's jump onto the cathedral window and I'll find out the uh, I'll find out the date of the, the Christmas quilt for you. So, cathedral window pincushion. Yeah. Now this looks complex. It's a bit of origami. It it's is. a bit of folding. I'm, I love a um, uh, cathedral window. I'd like to come on and actually do a cathedral window demo. Uh, you know, cushion uh, one day. It's, there's not actually that much sewing, is there? It's no. more about the like, ironing and pressing. It's and all about pressing again. Okay. It's, so you'll have um, it's all in the instructions of the measurements, etc. So you'll get a piece of um, 
because you've got to have a good pin cushion, in, haven't you? Absolutely. You've got these posh, lovely you've got sewing machines, you need a good pin cushion next Absolutely. to it. Absolutely. So you would uh, iron out your, uh, your square fabric and you'd fold them all in and give it a press. And then you'll do it again and fold them all in into the middle, like so. And you'll give it a press. This was on the 10th of June, just so you know. And then what I would do then, so you just have one piece of fabric and three charm squares. So you open out your little pieces and put one in the middle. Fold them all in and then you can do a little hand stitch or just a little tacking stitch right there. So I'm just going to quickly go into the machine and sew them all down. Don't worry about them being too tidy on this because you'll cover it all up later anyway with your um, with a button. If you're looking for any of the Block of the Weeks, by the way, speak to the customer service team. For some reason, they're not appearing on everybody's website. So speak to the team. I've just noticed on Facebook, lots of people asking. There you are. Five minutes, Dolphine. <laughs> oh, I, I do like a challenge. I, I, I've got to stop saying I like a challenge because I get challenged. It's been very busy today, very busy So If you look below us on the web, lots of the kits, um, all the kits and instructions will be there. So don't worry if we don't get everything in. So the other two charm squares that are remaining, you just cut them from one corner to the other. You'll lay it on top of your folded piece, uh, put a pin in it, and... This is going to form your little window, and all you do is fold back. Oh, that nice! And take it to the machine and top stitch. This is where you want to be quite tidy with your stitching. So, watch your fingers. Once you get to that end, needle down, turn it round, and fold. The next the side. I'm with you. It looks really effective, doesn't it? It looks really, really effective. I like these colours actually. I just threw these together outside, they work quite nicely. I like these. There we are, and that's what you forms your uh, little pal. Oh, like that. Nice. So I'll quickly do it to the other side. And so quite again, quite a quick project, but you look a real pro if you've got one of these on your sewing table. Oh yeah, especially like you say, if you've got your new sewing machine on its way, yeah. Split Pay launch today. Loads of people are taking advantage of Split Pay, which is brilliant because it means that you're going to get professional results like Delphine. You get all of these lovely projects home and be able to sew with confidence and ease. And that's what I love about you know 680, this, the 780, and the Duke is. You plug it in, it just gets sewing, can't you? How exciting though, and you've got a new sewing machine on the way. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Just be aware, the 680 by the way, I'm a bit concerned. Since we've told everybody, look, we've got five year warranty, it's really limited. It'll say on the website how many are left, it's really limited. Ooh. So that's two. And three. How am I doing for time? Am I all right? We've got about three minutes. Do you want me to show you, whilst you're just doing that, can I show you the clasp, uh, the purse clasps, the tilde ones, which are the ones behind me, I'll show you in a second, but these are the instructions. You also get your frames and you get the same fat quarters that we had before. So you get the spot and you get the lovely tilde ones, which Kat always thought these were hairdressers. Well, they thought, she thought that they were, they were people in the hairdressers with like the hairdressing cape on. They're angels. They're the angel wings. So you get two fat quarters. You also get, uh, sorry, not two. You get three of your designer fat quarters plus your poplin ones and your instructions. And that's to make these lovely bags. You get all three of your bag frames, which look very, very professional indeed. Twenty-seven ninety-nine. These were really, really popular when we launched these. They're so lovely. Then, just while Delphine's still going round, let's just quickly show you the only other one that we haven't shown this hour was... Was it the little hexes? I haven't seen these either. I haven't seen these before. Have you seen them, Paul? Paul actually lives here as well. These are new to me. Mick, uh, these are your mini hexy coasters, which are absolutely adorable, Delphine. I love them. One thing I haven't... Uh, I, I wish I took a picture of it now. But if you... Um, if you take one out and open it out, you could, if you have a small stem glass, like a champagne flute, oh, it's so like a little pocket. It's a little pocket yeah. for your flute. So now that, you know, we've got to be careful whose glasses you're taking, if we get to go over to friends for Christmas, things like this, you can put them on the right wine glass so you know which one yours is. And it eliminates 
the rings on the uh, tables that you can get. And if you stop, uh, <laughs> if you've had a few too many and you forget whose glass is whose, That's you it. can do it with your little... Uh, well, we need to yeah. know whose glass is whose now, yeah. don't we, with our... Uh, Social distancing and all this. Uh, a lot of people are asking us just for instructions. This is your chance to get just the instructions. Six ninety nine, one of the lowest prices of the day. Absolutely, make the most of those. Uh, you get all of your instructions, Delphine style instructions. So really clear, very thorough, with great photographs and lots of images. We've literally got a minute or two. So all I've done is top stitched all around, all over my petals and trimmed it down. Then you would get another piece of fabric about the same size of that. Oh, it's over five, and, uh, I think it's about five, six inches. And over the top, I like to do a double back only because it makes it stronger. Again, just like the bagging out method, you'll sew right sides together all the way around, leave a gap, turn it the right way around, stuff it with your uh, wadding, get yourself a button because it will be quite chunky, it will be quite plump. Yes. So what you'll do is you have to squeeze it. So you do need to have um, a bit of a good grip and you'll squeeze it together and then you just sew the button in and then there you go, ta-da, the key's got one. There, there it is, there you go. amazing. Love that, thank you ever so much as no always. No problem. Thank you as well for bringing all of these little pre-mates for us as well to show us because we've loved your kits. Oh, you get designing yeah. some more now, um, I you? already am, don't you worry, there's plenty more on the way. Oh, yeah. brilliant, thank you ever so much. Thank, thank you, thank you. lovely. Um, if you do want any that we haven't had a chance to go through in, in detail today, it's all on the website. Remember, type in Delphine and all of her kits will appear straight away. Or just scroll down past the Watch Live and you'll see all of those. There's the flying geese ruler we were talking about. You can see all of the instructions and the bond web. Don't forget your bond web. Uh, thank you, Delphine. It's been amazing. When are you back with us? Uh, two weeks. 21st. 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 Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. We'll see you then. Thank see you. you. Then. Okay, tomorrow's show. John Scott is here. Need I say any more? I know you'll be there. Eight o'clock for his early bird special. Uh, he's got so room essentials. He's also got lots of laughs. He's going to be, uh, of course, on Facebook Live, so come in and drop him a message. It's his third day in his new home. Oh, exciting. Uh, at nine o'clock. Oh, no, he celebrated his 40th birthday in lockdown. Did you hear that? Nine o'clock, so different eclipse, dressed with lovely Adele. Oh, she's brilliant. You'll love her. Uh, 10 o'clock, bag making Fabrico. 11 o'clock, Adele's going to be joining us with same different jackets, getting us kitted out for autumn. Did I say same difference? I love Same Difference. Do you remember them? They were a good band, weren't they? <laughs> Whatever happened to Same Difference? So different, so different pattern um, with the lovely Adele and the gorgeous John Scott. We've been spoiling you this week and it looks like we're going to be carrying on tomorrow, the theme of the week. Have a serious think about the machines. Now the split payment is optional. Please do speak to the team if you've got any questions about them. I'm so excited for you to get your machines home though. Well done to everybody who has made the most of that brand new split pay option today. Thanks for your company. I'll see you next Thursday. Enjoy the weekend and the start of next week. John will see you bright and early in the morning at 8 o'clock.